Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I hope you had a good day today so far. We're gonna play Animal Crossing. I am, in fact, opening the game. It just hasn't loaded yet. So you may hear Animal Crossing music in about three, two, come on. Give me something to work with, please. <laughs> it's so quiet, please. <laughs> We're playing on Dan's Switch, see? It's all very exciting. You were stalking my page while waiting for me to go live? I respect that. Anyway, today we're gonna finally decorate Dan's Animal Crossing Island. So we've been waiting for Dan to come here so that I can have his Switch um, for months. <laughs> That's the only reason I wanted him to come here. I didn't want him to like move in or anything. I just, I just wanted his Switch so I could play Animal Crossing on it. Um, and so now that Dan is finally here, I now have three Switches to play on. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. Look, my Animal Crossing Switch. My Switch Switch. Dan Switch. <laughs> anyway, so I get to decorate Dan's Island now. <laughs> Isn't this ridiculous? <laughs> yeah, he has a Switch light too. Yeah. There are four switches in this house right now. So, I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> Leah, Claire, Lumen, Panda, Kiana, Pink Hipster, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Thank you so much. But yeah, I've been waiting for Dan to give me this switch. He didn't give it to me. It's still his switch. But Dan hasn't played Animal Crossing in a very long time. Um, therefore... This is my Animal Crossing Island now. <laughs> Dan probably hasn't played Animal Crossing since like, I don't know, like May or June of 2020, like right when it came out. So it's my time to shine. It's my turn to play. <laughs> we used to play a bunch, like we'd sit in a Discord call and both play Animal Crossing at the same time. Um, but then he stopped caring about Animal Crossing, so it's fine. I'm not upset. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> Bugs, Vanna, Lucy, Leah, thank you all for the subs, too. Yeah, the, the Switch Lite is cheaper. The Switch Lite is, like, $100 cheaper. Um, and it's- the Switch Lite is still good. Like, it's not a bad console. Um, the only, like, major difference is that these Switches, like, these ones, obviously you can dock them. Um, and, like, connected to a TV or something. And so in order to stream from a Switch, you have to dock it and then hook it up with a capture card to your PC. You can't stream from a Switch Lite because you can't dock it. So the Switch Lite is still good. And if you don't care about playing like on your TV ever, like there's nothing wrong with the Switch Lite. Um, but if you want to like use your TV to play on your console, then um, the Switch Lite is, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but like personally, I think I would, opt for this one always like the the real switch just because i like to be able to play on my tv and my computer like a bigger screen and um to like play split screen and stuff is a is a big deal to me because i play with my brother a lot and stuff but you might not care about that so switch light's still a good option and it's a lot cheaper so um gem quinn page snacky raindrop manny honey Susie, ashlyn tori thank you all for the subs Catherine. Uh, Carrie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Blue Marlin, Robin, Hunter, Megan, Anarchy, Laura, thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm gonna have my my bestie Isabel talk to me really fast. Okay, no big news. That's fine. Okay, there's summer shells. Again, Dan hasn't played Animal Crossing in so long. <laughs> His villagers are gonna be like, where have you been? I thought you were dead. <laughs> He probably hasn't opened this in like a year. <laughs> That's not true. He comes on- Bedhead? Okay. I was gonna say he comes on to, um, give me Nook Miles tickets. So he has been on. Um, he also played at Halloween. He did a villager hunt around Halloween, which is why he has this outfit on. His skin is green because of Halloween. So, he definitely played for real at Halloween. <laughs> also, all these colored flowers are things that I gave him. Um, and these are my Nook Miles tickets. So... Not tickets that I gave him, tickets that he's waiting to give me. 
as soon as I need them again. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, Fluffy, uh, Cher, Sulky, Penny, Sunshine, Pebs, Jazz, uh, Lasagna, Jay, Samantha, Milky, Bizarre, Mazzy, Little Tika, Casey, Haley, Bella, oh my goodness, thank you all so much, Maddie, Alaire, Watch Fate Flow, Carrie, Siren, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, Emma as well. But yeah, so Dan has been working on this island, he's been trying to make it only ducks. He's got a lot of ducks, he's not finished though, he still needs to find two more, th wait, that's Penguin. <laughs> he still needs to find three more ducks. <laughs> she's hiding out. She tried to, she tried to trick me. No, but, um, <laughs> he still needs to find three more ducks. Um, I guess when we say he, I guess I maybe kind of mean me. I don't know if he wants to do any more hunts. Maybe he will once he sees how great I make his island. So we'll see. But he wants an all duck island, so he's already got a bunch of ducks. Uh, as you can see, he's got pom-pom, he's got ketchup, Weber, Joey, Drake, Miranda, Bill, um, I think I want him to have freckles because I love her. She's my favorite villager, but I guess it's not really my choice, is it? Because it's, well, it's Dan's Island. <laughs> so I suppose it's not really up to me, but if it were up to me, freckles. No, I don't think he made that heart-shaped pond. I don't think he's done much terraforming at all. I'm pretty sure that heart-shaped pond just came like it. Oh, I can have this. I need that. Well, should we just go look around? We need to figure out, like, what our plans are here, because I don't really know what I want to do. Yeah, but you can get heart ponds naturally on islands sometimes, so I'm pretty sure the heart pond just was there. I think the heart pond is why he picked this one. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Earthlings, Anne, Cats, Kels, Maddie, Sunny, Jocelyn, Flags, Miss Kim, SNP, Stephanie, Leenies, Emma. <sighs> Thank you all for the subs, too. Um, but I want to make a duck shaped pond. I know that. Um, I don't think that Dan has any, like, specific attachment to anything on the island right now. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that the heart pond looks weird. It looks like a, a sock up close. Anyway, I don't think Dan has any, like, specific attachment to anything on the island. He hasn't really decorated at all on this one. He's decorated on his Switch Lite a lot more. That's what he used, like, mostly played on. And then he got the Switch to stream, and then he did a bunch of hunting, but not much decorating. So, like, most of the Animal Crossing he's played on this Switch was, like, kicking villagers off, hunting. <laughs> kicking villagers off, hunting. Like, he's not really, um, done much decorating. The legacy on YouTube goes up tomorrow, Nelly. I was supposed to post it yesterday, um, but then it wasn't edited in time, and, um, well, I've had a rough week. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, team. I get really sick on my period, um, and I have been not good this week. <laughs> not good. <laughs> so, I, I, the, the schedule has been been different than normal. I've already, I had videos recorded and stuff, but I, like, all day today was not feeling good. <laughs> Greyhound, um, Jamie, Devin, Main Street Steph, Young, Beck, thank you, Leonie, everybody, all the subs and bits and stuff, too. But yeah, I've, I've, I'm okay. Don't worry. But. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yesterday I recorded a video making a cake, though, for next weekend, so that'll be fun. Oh, I forgot he put this house right here. I was so annoyed at him for this when he put this house in this weird little corner. I was like actually angry at him for this. I'm not kidding. Like when he did this, it made me genuinely mad. Why did you do that? And he did it on purpose to bother me. Like I told him I didn't want him to put it there. It wasn't my island, so it wasn't my choice. But he was streaming and I was like, put it, you know, somewhere near the, at least over here or something. And then what does he do? Random corner. Random corner. <sighs> okay, I also need to check how much money Dan has. <laughs> That's another important thing we need to worry about because I don't know how much money we have to um, move houses. So we're gonna need to figure this out. Ariana, Ash, Day, Minecrafting, Lucy, Griffin, Baby, Mari, Radiant Flower, L, Musical. Thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, no, he's not played as much as me at all. Let me check how many hours he has in this. That's actually kind of a fun question. 
Um, profile. Like I said, he's mostly just 85 hours. Still a lot. He's got 85 hours in Animal Crossing on the Switch, but that's literally just hunting. Like, all the Animal Crossing he played was just hunting on stream. On this Switch. He played more on his Switch Lite. But some of us have hundreds of hours in Animal Crossing, so... Oh, okay. I'm fine. I've got 7 million bells to decorate with. So we'll be okay. <laughs> Sophie, Ariana, thank you for the sun. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good. I look cute today. Thanks, Allie. LilCynthyShop.com. Actually, this isn't even my real, the real hoodie. <laughs> this was a test print. The real hoodie is like a different hoodie material. Um, the real hoodie is, this is like, they were just testing the print on it to see if we liked it or not. The real hoodie looks different than this one. It's a, like, it's the same color and stuff, but it's like a nicer hoodie than this one. <laughs> this is a, this is knockoff Lil Simsy merch that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> this is one of the first prints, actually. So, um, the real one is like a nicer color. It's like a nicer pastel. I don't know. It probably is hard to tell on the camera because I, plus I have a purple light in front of me. It's probably throwing off the coloring, but... Okay, I have literally no idea what I want to do. Should we start with Dan's entrance? And then go from there? Alaire, a lot of them have shipped. All of the first print have shipped. Um, I mentioned this on stream a couple days ago, but there was actually a COVID scare at the place. So they ha we, there was, um, like we printed a bunch, they sold out, had to reprint a bunch to then ship those. Um, the like pre-order ones. Um, and it was supposed to take a couple weeks, but then uh, a bunch of people at the printing place got COVID. <laughs> and so they had to like quarantine for a long time and people couldn't work on the printing. So then the reprints have been delayed. <laughs> I really, I apologize, but I can't, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> so COVID has um, severely impacted the reprints, but they should be coming out like really, really, really soon. Like now. Um, because the reprints got delayed because the people at the place got COVID, so. Why does Dan still have Halloween decorations up? Um, okay, I'm just gonna drop this stuff off over here. Um, and then... No, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I think entrance first, too. That's what I did on my green island. I did the entrance first, and it really helped me fix Spooky Rug. Does he really have all his Halloween stuff in his inventory still? Spooky wall. <laughs> he hasn't played Animal Crossing in so long. Oh no. Curly Fry, thank you for the gifted subs. Um, Lil, thank you for the prime sub. Livy, Izzy, Meow, Desert, thank you for the subs and stuff too. Perhaps a duck kid core theme for his island. I'm not opposed to that idea. I do like, there's um, a very particular pond that I really like the idea of using. Not pond, sorry. Um, little, you know the little like uh, kitty pool item? There's like a white one with colorful polka dots. And I think that one is really cute and could be a fun idea. Um... But I don't really know. I, I don't think I want it to be like kid core, as you say. But I do like the idea of it being like a lot more colorful than my other islands are. Like my, I have an all green Animal Crossing island, obviously. Um, and I also have like my other one that has pretty much only pink and white flowers. So I think I want, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much. I kind of wanted to like talk it out on stream together because I figured we can make more progress if we did this together, you know, so. <laughs> oh, do you know what else? Dan's, um, his native fruit is actually oranges. Believe it or not, on this, on this island, the native fruit is oranges, but I went through back, um, like when he first got the switch because he didn't want oranges, but he liked that he got Bill or something as one of his starter villagers. So, I went through, I came to like visit his island and I dug up every orange tree and planted a cherry tree in its place. 
I like we were sitting in a Discord call, and I came and I <laughs> I planted a cherry tree. I think it was you who didn't want oranges. Yeah, maybe it was me that didn't want oranges. Um, but either way, his native fruit is oranges, but you'll notice that it's full of cherries. And that was because of me. <laughs> um, Addy, I don't- hopefully soon. Um, Cassidy, thank you for the nine months, Stellar, Britt, Jess, Shannon, Amy. Thank you all for the subs, too. Thank you so much. Um, the- I don't- I don't know if he cared that much, but again, I did. <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, how do I want to lay this out? The thingy is kind of far away. Do I want to do, like, what I did on my green switch and have there be like, I don't know, some cliffs sort of leading you through a little pathway. I'm not sure. Do we want to have the shops near to the entrance? Do we, what do you want? Oh! A reaction! You're welcome, Dan. Yeah, I like cliffs to close with dock too. I think it looks cute. A boardwalk? Oh my goodness. You mean like have a little... Hmm. What if he had little beachfront boardwalk shops? No. Do I like that? I'm not sure. I don't know what style I want to go for with this. I have so many options. <laughs> we have so many things to choose from. I might just chop this tree down, to be honest. I was gonna dig it up, but I don't know if I want to keep with my cherries. <laughs> Maybe I want to put the oranges back. Yeah, the problem is if we put the- if we put the shops, like, right here, then there's gonna be a lot of land that we have to fill up somehow, and we won't have shops to fill up there. But, maybe we could make it cute still. I don't know. I'm gonna go... I don't know. I'm thinking. I've- I've got ideas. I've got ideas. It's fine. <laughs> Oh no, Kate, Durflicorn, Joanna, Mitta, Annie, Kitty, thank you all for the subs, too. Um... I have to sketch it out? I would have to sketch it out, yeah. You could put stalls there as fake shops, but I- I almost want to put his real shops there. I'm thinking, like, logistically, right? A lot of us- Hang on. Dan hasn't been on the internet on this switch yet in my house. I need to connect to the internet at my house. I just realized that. Okay, internet. One moment, please. Okay, but what I was going to say is that um, Dan doesn't play Animal Crossing the way that we do. Like, we are okay with having random trees everywhere and... I don't know, like, <laughs> the the island being unwalkable for the most part. Um, but Dan's not like us. Dan is different. <laughs> I think he'd prefer a, a, a slightly simpler layout that's maybe a little bit more functional, you know? Um, and so for that reason, I'm kind of thinking that maybe having the shops, like, right next to the entrance could be a good idea. Even if it's less, like, pretty. Any unsaved data will be lost. Am I gonna regret this? Excuse me! Oh my god. <sighs> I just heard him say Kate was breaking my island. Daniel, I didn't destroy anything! He's not listening to me. I didn't 
break anything. All I did was cut down one tree. <laughs> I just started. <laughs> and uh, Ellie, Jenny, I'm sorry, Nelly, George, Sona, thank you all for the subs. Oh my god. I did nothing. That's rude. Okay, but I do like the idea of the shops being right nearby. And then we can have, like, a nice pathway through some- We can have, like, part of the island be a bit more foresty, some of it be a bit more organized. We can have- I think that Dan likes it when the houses are more organized in, like, a neighborhood sort of way. So we can have all his houses in, like, a little neighborhood, or maybe, like, two neighborhoods. Um, but I, I think that Dan will want it a little bit more organized, you know? <laughs> Nikki, thank you for the 14 month resub. Thank you so much. We could always do like a like half the neighborhood on the first level of the island and the second half on the second level of the island and have like a staircase up to it or something. Like I don't know. I I kind of have done both because I've got two switches. On my first switch, the neighborhoods are more organized in like sections of houses. And the second one just has houses like in kind of random places. So I I think I like the idea of doing something more organized on dance though. Um, <laughs> Sophia and Nikki Virgo, thank you for the subs! Anna with 11 months too, thank you so much. Okay, well... What?! Oh my god. I forgot about this. <laughs> He probably hasn't updated this in so long, like, updated Animal Crossing in so long, so... Just give it a minute. Just give it... One minute remaining. <laughs> no, it's not broken! Uh, just, Dan hasn't played- well, one, it had a software update for the whole Switch, but two, Dan hasn't played, um, Animal Crossing in months, so he's not updated Animal Crossing in months. Another software update?! I'm back in Animal Crossing. No, we're fine. False alarm. We're back. It's fine. We're fine! Jen, thank you for the six months. Oh, okay. Oh, I switched to the US already, Danya. I already did that. I switched to the region to the US because I wanted to make the time- Well, he's had his switch on California time this whole time because back when he did used to play Animal Crossing, he used to play Animal Crossing only at nighttime, but like nighttime in the UK. And it, it kind of sucks when you play and it's like only ever nighttime because you can't like shop. So Dan's had his switch on California time like always um, so that he can actually like play during the day when he was playing, you know? Because if he was only coming on at like midnight UK time, like <laughs> you miss out on everything, you know? Um, Nerdy meme, thank you for the subs. Weeping angels, weeping angels with the sub gift. Jen, thank you everybody, thank you so much. Um, also so you could use the shop. Okay, well yeah. Also so I could go to his shop. Yes, that's true. You're not wrong. Um, it did have something to do with me as well. <laughs> Look, don't worry about it. <laughs> But otherwise, because this game is real time, the shops would be closed. Okay, Dan has no clothes on. I'm gonna buy some. He can keep his little green zombie looking outfit skin, but I want... No, 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 no. I don't like any of these options. Maybe the yellow shoes could be cute with my eyes. Those are very tall socks. Maybe I like them. Um. Yeah, none of these, none of these shirts are really appealing to me. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Well, now I have socks and shoes on. So that's all that really matters. <laughs> I'm gonna go see what clothes Dan has at home actually really fast. Um, <laughs> Bell, tell uh, Addy, thank you for the subs too. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna go change. I don't want the sailor tee. I don't want to wear a sailor t-shirt right now. It doesn't fit my yellow shoes. 
It doesn't work. And he's green because he hasn't played since Halloween. Oh my god, there's cockroaches in my house. I stepped on it. We have a lot of work to do on this island. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like this one. Oh my. Oh, the tie-dye shirt. No, that's way better. The tie-dye shirt's one of my favorites. Why does he have, like, no clothes? He really has, like... Oh, that green is terrible. Should I wear it? Wait, I kind of like it. Okay. Okay. I'm wearing this. <laughs> Winter subs, thank you for the tier two, 13 months. Um, Bean Bell, Tella, thank you all for the subs too. Oh, I have more things. I don't think Dan really bothered to buy many clothes. House tour? I don't think there is anything else in the house. The furniture's blocking the doors. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't I don't think that there is a house tour to show you. <laughs> I think that's all. <laughs> okay, we need to get some custom designs. If we're gonna make a little boardwalk sort of vibe. Yeah, I think that was the house tour. <laughs> Clint, thank you for the pitch. <laughs> Okay. I know they're not- Violet, I'm not that concerned about the cockroaches right now. But I do have Nintendo Online. Dan has Nintendo Online! Okay. He may have let it run out. But... Didn't I just come pick up a bunch of Nook Mouse tickets from him? I'm gonna worry about this another time. We don't need to worry about Nintendo Online while we're streaming. <laughs> Put your credit card info in on stream. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just- I'll just put it in right now. <laughs> Hello, Caliber, thank you for the subs. Um, no, don't worry, Shan, it's fine, don't worry. I don't need to- I don't really need it yet. Let's be honest, we don't need to worry about custom designs yet. We can just, like... We can, for starters, focus on, like, figuring out a plan for everything. <laughs> you know? I think that can be a- a bigger concern. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Well, you could probably set it to not auto-renew, Casey. Um, and Dan may have said it like that if he didn't use it that often. But Dan and I play- Like, the, I, this is why I'm confused because I swear, like, a couple weeks ago we were playing Mario Kart before, like, before he moved. But- could still have expired. Okay. I think that maybe we should use, um... Oh, wrong thing. I think that maybe we should use, um, some of the regular paths. Let's not do too many custom designs on this one. You know, like, maybe it would be a good thing if we kept it simple. What is this?
Yeah, has he not clicked on it since we got sea creatures? Is that why it said that? He's caught them! <laughs> but he... <laughs> he hasn't even looked at it! How about this brick path? I haven't used this one ever. Maybe we could use it for him. I kind of like it. It could be cute. Oops, wrong thing. Okay. Well then, hang on. Are we gonna really put the... Like, am I really gonna have these thingies, like, right up at the beach? The shops? Like, right here? Or do you wanna put them on this side of the beach? There might be more space on this side. Dan's British? Multiple question marks? Lemons. I think so. Time to be messaging him, but maybe he'll reply. <gasps> he said in a min, yes. Hells, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, I'm then pretty that's sure. Good. I'll just join a session then. Um, just quick little join sesh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> okay. I think I might put the, um, path. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Two up. Because I'm going to put some flowers and bushes and some fences along here. I thought Dan was Australian. Honestly, thank God he's not. This whole thing would be a lot more complicated if he was. I That flight, that time difference, being that far from his family, that's a lot worse. <laughs> a lot more complicated if that were the case. Okay, are we gonna hunt for villagers on this island? Well, Bella, Dan's already done most of his hunting. Um, I'll show you. He's he need, he's trying to have an all duck island, um, and he's only missing three. He's got Flo, Bangle, and Bertha still, but he's trying to have all ducks. Um, so I don't know if he's gonna want to like hunt for the last ducks or if we will. Um, but either way. There will be some sort of hunting happening at some point. <laughs> Jenny, Lorraine, Jacob, Ditsy, AIC, Meg, Ella, Kira. Thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, okay, I'm gonna see about buying any recipes for fences from here. Ooh, extra hairstyles. Barbed wire fence is not really, um, <laughs> what I was going for. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> not the vibe, no. I don't, I don't think that's what I was really, um, expecting. No, the problem, Sophie, is that we don't have Nintendo Online right now. So I can't even accept your fence DIY gifts. Um. Because I need to... <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let me look at our DIYs. What do we have to work with here? Anything, anything? Can keep the Halloween vibes. We don't need the fences yet. It's fine. Okay, does he really only have the simple wooden fence? Maybe the simple wooden fence is good. Uh, 
Maybe I like it. Anything from me? No, lots of gifts from mom. Oh! What did I send us? Yeah, you have to get bushes. Um, I don't know if Dan has bought anything from Leaf yet. Most of the... This is how long ago Dan played. I sent him candy so he could do the Halloween event on stream. And he never used it. <laughs> I can't believe this <laughs> genuinely like unbelievable. Oh, he does have the hedge fence. Okay, that's good. I can, I can make that. That we can work with. Oh, he has a bunch of decorations too. We have options. Most of this stuff I gave him as well. Cause I, I would like clear out my inventory and then give it to Dan. <laughs> so, um, we have a lot of options. No, I'm not gonna do his house first. I don't want to think about the inside of his house. Blake, thank you for the prime sub, Mr. Plumbot. Thank you for the five months. Um, how you know? I I think I've gotten used to wearing this ring. The thing is, I used to always wear this ring on this hand, on the on my middle finger, on this hand. So like, I don't know. I'm used to having rings on my fingers, or at least a ring on my fingers. So like, having this one isn't that. Um. Different? Does that make sense? I don't know. I like it's a different finger, but it doesn't really feel that like It is bigger though and it gets caught on blankets <laughs> That's a new um, a new and unique problem that I've not experienced until recently <laughs> um, Ava happy birthday. I can sing you a birthday song <laughs> Yeah, Basil, um, Dan and I looked at a lot of rings- at this point it was like two years ago. Um, we looked at a lot of rings together, uh, not two years ago. A year and a half ago. Um, but I didn't know which one he actually ended up buying. Like, we talked about ones that I liked, and ones that like, I wanted, and ones that he liked, and stuff like that, but I- like, I didn't know which one he actually picked. Until like- I saw it. Yeah, he showed Laura, and he showed my parents, but not me! <laughs> it was so annoying, too. He had it for so long. He had it since, like, April of 2020. And it's mine! It's fine. I'm not upset. <laughs> Who's Laura? Chibi Laura in the chat there. The one, the only. I think I might do it like this and then put little flowers in there. Do we like that idea? That's me, I'm the boss, Laura says. Wouldn't that be cute? I'd like it. I support this decision. Um, I want- I want to have trees at the entrance, though. I'm gonna make it wider. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I want a tree! How do I have so many tickets? Well, this is Dan's Island, but th those are my tickets. Um, and Daniel acquired them from the internet. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> Yeah, Nicole, Eva, thank you for the 
the subs too. Um, he he bought them. He bought them. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to put a tree. Should I? I don't. Do I want it to be too wide everywhere? I'm sorry. I'm really unsure of what I want to do. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going for here. Yeah, if Nintendo made it easier to bulk buy Nook Mouse tickets, we wouldn't have this problem. Exactly. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be trial and error, for sure, trying to do this part and figure out the inside of this here. I think I wanna put yellow flowers there. Do we have any? <laughs> I used to come and drop off like so many of my extra flowers to Dan. It's not good. <laughs> I think yellow and red could be cute together though. I might not want to use mums. I might want to pick a different kind of flower. I'm not sure what I want to do. <gasps> a hamster. Maybe I should buy that. McDonald's. Maybe that's the theme. Tulip? We'll see what is in the shop. We'll see what we have access to. But I feel like yellow is cute because ducks are yellow. Um, rose, windflower, lily, windflower, lily, rose, yellow, rose, yellow, lily. This is not really going with my yellow tulip idea. <laughs> not really fitting with my vibes. Um, I guess maybe yellow lilies could be nice. The lilies could be cute. I like the idea of lilies. Let me buy a bunch. Let me get some. There's definitely some yellow mums, Izzy. I know that there's mums. I don't know if I want to use them though, because both of my switches have mums on them. Because my they were my native fruit on both native fruit, my like native flower on both of my other switches. I don't really want to use mums on Dan's switch too. Does that make sense? <laughs> Craig, Maddie, thank you for the subs. Oh, all right. Well, I'll plant a lily. I might just plant two lilies here for now. And then if we want to move them in the future, we totally can. Nothing is stopping us. Um... No, Dan didn't make any requests for the island, James. We really don't have much to work with here. <laughs> Dan really didn't give us a lot to go on. <laughs> it's, it's all us. So, I do want to put a duck pond. That is a thing that I want to do. Soul, so that, that is definitely something that we talked about on stream. Um. A cute fishing spot. See, that could be nice. All very fun ideas. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I kind of want to, like, do it like this. And then eventually I want to, like, fill that in too. Or maybe have one more. 
Or, no, I could fill it in and then put a flower here. Don't know. I just, I want to have the shops right up against the beach, I think. You're making homemade pizza tonight? Oh, Hope, well, are you gonna share? <laughs> Will you be sending some down here? Maybe I'll make homemade pizza tonight. I don't have anything to, to make it with, but I can go to the store. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> Unrealistic, thank you for the bits. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Do we like the idea of the shops being down here though? I'm gonna need to move so many things. Oh, it's fine. Everything is fine. Do I have room for both? What, both shops? Don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I need to scoot them. I don't know. Could do a little seaside bakery or pizza shop. Oh. Well, I could put one here. No, one goes there and then one could come down here. And then I can have my little boardwalk bit of, of my dreams. Oh, hey, village girl, it says boyfriend because I don't want to deal with the questions of people that didn't hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me put the word I want in the title. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Please bear with me. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna get so many questions about this for the rest of my life. I don't, it just, it's just a word. He's a boy, we're friends, it works. It works. <laughs> I'm not angry at you for asking, by the way, just so we're clear. I've just seen like 50 people ask and that's why. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna collect all of these very quickly. Nope, don't have enough space. Okay, that's cool. Put them all down here. This is a disaster. My husband is actually my boyfriend plus plus. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Christine. Okay. I'm almost done grabbing these. Don't worry. Oh, Marisol, you might not have to get them removed. Not everybody has to get their wisdom teeth out. It's just some people's are like growing in weird or there's not enough space for them in their mouth and stuff. Those are the people who have to get their wisdom teeth out. But you might be fine. You might not have any wisdom teeth issues. Dan never had any wisdom teeth issues. Granted, Dan had teeth like growing out of his gums, extra ones when he was a kid. So he had like four teeth pulled when he was a kid to make space for his braces and stuff. So when his wisdom teeth came in, his mouth wasn't like crowded because he had already had like four teeth pulled. Whereas me, tiny mouth, um, wisdom teeth came in. One of them was all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I had to get mine removed because they didn't fit in my mouth. Uh, they were causing me a lot of pain and one of them was like wrong, like growing in all wacky sideways. So, but you might be fine. Um, a lot of people are fine. Never have any problems, but some people do. Okay, like my mom didn't have to get hers out until she was like 30 as well. Isn't that so weird? That sucks, honestly. You think you avoided it, and then... <laughs> All of a sudden. Um, yeah, a lot of people remove as a precaution, but that's, that's like, a very... You, I, I don't want to call it uniquely American, but I don't think that other countries remove them as a precaution as often as people do in America. Like, people are getting their wisdom teeth out left and right in America, but, I like, I don't think that's as common in the UK to get their wisdom teeth taken out, just precautionary. But, um, dentistry is a business. That is true. 
Okay, um... See, I don't want to move the shops until I know where I want to put the houses. But I don't know where I want to put the houses yet. So what am I supposed to do about this problem? Okay, I know I want to have one shop around here. Well, I could put the houses on the beach very easily, but that would be like a temporary solution. I don't want the houses to be permanently on the beach. Um, if I put the houses on the beach, it would just be like for now until I figure out where to put them for real. Hey, Zeph, by the way. Um, I hope you're doing well. Okay, I'm gonna put a tree in here. Have I dug one up? No. Okay. Yeah, I like how the brick path looks too. I was saying I haven't ever used this pathway, but I really like it. Yeah, you can have houses on the beach, Beanie. I, I just, um, people put, a lot of times they'll put the houses on the beach as like a filler sort of thing um, until, oh, I, that's, I didn't mean for them to be even with each other. I don't know why I'm acting surprised that they are. <laughs> Hang on, I need to move it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I'm putting the Nook Miles on his beach. Redacted, these are my Nook Miles tickets. They're for me. <laughs> I'm not putting them in his house. He he bought them all so somewhere. Um for me. <laughs> Um, hey Bella, thank you for the raid by the way, welcome into the stream. <laughs> but those are my Nook Miles tickets. <laughs> okay, that'll be cute when it's done. And then we'll have like, one of the shops will be here. And then I can scoot these things farther over or something like that, I don't know. I don't know. Katie, thank you for the six months, Lana, thank you for the three months. Um, I'm just gonna put these down here. No. But look, sometimes you need to spend 2,500 tickets to find Pietro. And where do you think those tickets come from? Not the sky. Certainly not the nook stop. <laughs> Unrealistic, thank you for the bits. Boots? Ew. Okay, didn't like those. Okay, I think I might put, um, does my bear fit in here? Uh, that depends on your definition of fit. It sure could. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. I want to put a shop here, but I don't know if it'll let me move one of them yet. Let me see if she wants this. I'm not sure if the house is in the way. Did you drop this? Mm. I clicked on the wrong thing. Annie, thank you for the tier two. Ah! Thank you for the tier two too much. Far out of lowering and unrealistic. Thank you for the subs. Let me try that again. Oh, the bear is huge, Zipchick, I know. <laughs> I want to put it somewhere. I don't think I want to put it right next to Dan's entrance, though. It's Joey's. Okay. Sleepy, thank you for the tier two three months, too. Oh. Do you know... We are not doing good. We are not- we are not doing good. <laughs> Okay, do you think it'll let me put the shop here? Is there enough space for the shop here? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Maybe one of them at least will fit there. Oh. <laughs> um, why is Dan's character green? Well, that's because he hasn't played since Halloween. 
Not kidding. <laughs> Five hours deep cleaning your house? Hey, I'm proud of you, MW. That's, that's impressive. Um, it always feels good to get that kind of stuff done. Now, now you sit in your nice clean house and you be proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think Wait, I'm gonna try and move one of the shops. I have I don't have enough money on me Do I need the money right now to do it? I don't think I thought this through Let me get some money out hang on Hang on. I'm not gonna give Dan's character a makeover. I gave him a new outfit. Yeah, if you click investigate on it, um, sorry, in case you forgot, and I didn't do it just now, but if you click investigate on this, um, sometimes it tells you things about it. I'm not very close with any of my, um, well, Dan's not very close with any of his villagers, so he can't, like, investigate and figure out who it belongs to very easily, but you can do that. Um, that is a thing. Is my inventory completely full? But it's not hard to figure out who it actually belongs to because you can just talk to a villager and then they tell you. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, Dan has a lot of bells because he, um, likes to get turnips. Or at least liked to back in the day. Oh, what if we made like a really cute campsite area and put the duck shaped pond next to it somewhere? I like the concept. I wanna sell some things to these too quickly. Okay, I don't need, I'm just gonna sell like most of these red flowers cause honestly, oh, I didn't use that recipe yet. Clear it out. Clear it out. <laughs> Finding a lost object in New Leaf would ruin my day half the time? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm gonna buy this trash can too. Yeah, we can get a little duck pond though. It'll be so cute. And we'll make a little campfire with some like little benches. Make a little foresty type area. <gasps> oh my god, it's gonna be so cute. I like it. Oh yeah, he still has three villagers. He has a penguin, um... He's got Flo, Bangle, and somebody else, I forget. Oh, we also have Bertha. He's got three villagers that aren't ducks still. Mostly ducks, but not all ducks yet. Yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to quickly move some things. If we can just get some stuff started and kind of get an idea of a layout figured out, then we'll be set. <laughs> we'll have an orchard for sure, Michaela. We're gonna need to. Um, we could probably get Dan like a really nice flower garden with some different kinds of flowers too, which will be fun. Cause I gave him a bunch of things. I wanna move the shop. If it'll let me. Unrealistic, thank you for the bits on the sub, by the way. Liv, thank you for the six months. Um, thanks everybody. Happy birthday. I can sing you a birthday song. <laughs> okay, what's on the bulletin board? You know how... I don't wanna know. <laughs> Birthday since October. I dance not played this in so long. <laughs> Let's check. Let's find out. <sighs> okay, fireworks shows. Dan's birthday. Ketchup's birthday. Bug off. Bertha's birthday. Miranda's birthday. Fishing tournaments. Joey's birthday, Turkey Day, Halloween. Oh, Halloween a few times because we were time traveling apparently. September 2nd, August 27th, July 20th. 
June 2020. It appears that Dan has never checked the bulletin board. Not once. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see if I can put this here. The tailor is smaller. She can go first. Okay, I need to I need to give this back. Oops. <laughs> birthday's on Thursday? Hey, my birthday's on Saturday. I can sing you a song too. <sighs> can I just give it back to him? Is it gonna be fine? I hope so. Let's not move it anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move the other one instead. <laughs> okay, thank you for the prime sub. Um, I want layout changes. I want to move the tailors now instead. Yes, please, let's do it. I appreciate the refund policy, honestly. <laughs> Casey, thank you for the 24 months. Hurry up, the dialogue is so annoying. Uh... Okay. It's fine. It is fine. All right, I've got the Taylor's moving kit. This isn't my island, no, Lil, this is Dan's island. Um, this is not my Switch. This is my boyfriend, fiance. It started raining! This is Dan's Switch. Um, he doesn't really play Animal Crossing anymore though, so he's not really touched it in a long time, so now we get to play with it. Nope. Nope. Let me imagine it. <gasps> Yay! Wait, no. One over? No, maybe I like it there. Do I like it there? Yes. Yes. I want it there. Because then I can put my path back how it was originally. Which is better for me. Okay. And then eventually there's going to be like... Well, here. Look what I can do. Put some bushes. And then we'll put um, maybe a tree. And then the big shop will come down here. I don't know if I even can put a tree there, to be honest. We'll have to see. <laughs> okay, let me. I don't know if I can do it right now. I mean, if the house is too close. I don't think it is. Hard Persephone Deco, thank you, Skelly. Uh, all with the subs and stuff, thank you so much. Okay, I'm not gonna play The Sims today, no. Um, I am gonna play The Sims tomorrow though, B. <laughs> I can put it there. Aren't we playing The Sims for the rest of the week? Yes. <laughs> Um, tomorrow morning we're gonna build, T Thursday afternoon we're playing the Paws Family, Friday is our charity stream for Able Gamers, we're gonna play Sims. Um, we've got a lot of Sims planned for the next few days. Okay. I need to plant another one of these lilies here. Yes, birthday on Saturday, bib. But I'm doing my charity stream, like, birthday stream on Friday. Um, so that's the plan. 
I'm just gonna like draw myself out some extra space because this is where Nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. Wrong. <laughs> this is where the other shop is gonna go. I'm not sure, Christine. I'm undecided on that one. <laughs> I think we'll we'll play that by ear. <laughs> okay. Let me put this down. I like how that looks. I think that'll be cute. Will it be a 12 hour stream? What, on Friday? No, more like six hour stream on Friday, Rachel. Um, I'm gonna live at four, but we're gonna stream probably until like 10 or 11. So that's the plan. Um, Twitch is gonna match the donations at 10 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Um, so like any donations, until then will be matched. So I feel like that's probably a, a decent stopping point, <laughs> you know? Like once um, once they match it and then we talk for a little bit, like then we'll probably get off around then. Um, I assume that'll be the plan. Okay. Oi, this is a mess. This is a mess. Well, if I just clear out the tickets from the center. <laughs> um, well, Dino, uh, charities like Able Gamers are international. They're based in the US, but they help people all over the world. Um, I, I don't think I would ever do a charity stream specifically for a uniquely UK based charity. Um, simply because I don't live in the UK. <laughs> um, and if I was gonna pick like a more localized charity, I'd probably pick one that's more local to me. Um, but most of the charities that I do fundraisers for are like global or like America as a whole kind of things. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Um, I feel like for me personally, I think a lot of people are the same. You probably uh, focus more on things that are a bit more local to you in that sort of way, you know, but I, maybe it would change in the future. I don't know, but. Glocky, thank you for the 44 month resub, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Little Dika, I don't know what Nook Mouse tickets. I don't see any. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what, what Nook Mouse tickets, where? I don't, I don't see any. <laughs> no, I don't, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a couple more flowers down here. Maybe one there. One there. No. How do I wanna do this? I wanna put a tree there, I think. It's important to me. <gasps> no! Oh. I don't think I'm gonna like these lilies. I'm probably gonna end up changing them. <laughs> Once they grow. I think I want tulips. I can feel it already. I'm probably gonna change them. <sighs> oh no. Anyway, Clocky, thank you again for the 44 month resub. Um, okay. Successfully downloaded update data for Dead by Daylight. Oh boy. Maybe I will put that one forward. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want this to look like. I think that the tulips will probably be more what I'm going for though. I guess we'll see, right? I don't know. We got time. Do I play Genshin? No, I don't really play many games. <laughs> I play The Sims, and I play Animal Crossing, and I play Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, I mostly only play little simulation game, Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Yeah, Dead by Daylight's on the Switch. Dan doesn't really play Dead by Daylight on his Switch all that often, um, but he has it. He streamed it a couple times on the Switch. But yeah, Dan, um, Dan plays Dead by Daylight, mainly. Um, the person whose Switch I am playing on right now. <laughs> um, he is a Dead by Daylight streamer, so. Oh, the bag belongs to Joey, that's right. I forgot I had the bag. Let me give it to him. Oh, I missed you too, Joey. Sorry. You lose this? Yes, you did. Yeah, Bleeding Heart, actually, I did finish the tunnel. I, I streamed myself digging out a tunnel in Minecraft in between my siblings and I's houses, and I finished it the other night with Dan. So yes, I did finish the tunnel. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, drop item. I haven't played that. I bet I would like it, Samarino. You're probably right. You, I assume you probably know me very well. <laughs> and the games that I would like, I bet I would like that one. It sounds like I would like. Um, okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm gonna put over here a little cliff kind of thing. Um, sort of like I do on my uh, my main island that I'm sure many of you are a bit more familiar with. I wanna get a little cliff type thing to help break up some of the space. Oh, that's awesome, Lorraine. I'm really glad to hear that. I am so glad to hear that. Um, must be a relief to get the second dose and the vaccine and stuff. And I'm glad you felt okay afterwards. Dan was fine after his- Dan got his second dose of the vaccine last week. Um, he was totally fine. I felt kind of sick, um, after mine. Like, I felt a little bit feverish the next day. And then on the Sunday, like, I got it on the Friday. Saturday, I had, like, I felt a little bit, like, achy and, like, cold, you know? Um, and then on the Sunday, I felt- really sick, but I think that was because of my period. I mentioned this literally today, because same thing happened to me today. I get really sick on my period, so my vaccine symptoms and my period symptoms are a bit muddled here. I don't know what caused what, because I get like flu-like symptoms on my period too, so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the what the main culprit was there, but I'm. it was probably my period. So, um, but yeah, that I so I don't really know what, I, but I I was pretty much fine after my vaccine though. It was just those days, but I my period is the main problem. Um. Okay. All right. All right. I just want to put a little cliff like thingy in here. Well, Rebecca, I think that the period effects usually take longer to come into a- I was on my period when I had my second dose. So a lot of people had like weird periods after they got the vaccine, but um, I always have weird periods. <laughs> this is not new. It's been happening since I was like 13. So I'm, I don't think it really affected me that much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm used to this one. <laughs> Um, okay, I think mm -hmm. I want to put this here. Should I do this? Should I put like a little fake 
It won't even go into anything. <gasps> Maybe I could put a little tiny pond somewhere. <gasps> Wait. How am I gonna do this? I need to think this through. We could have like a little tiny river that takes it to a little tiny pond. The problem is that there's an ocean right here. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know if it's weird or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't think it's gonna let me put the water where I want it to be there. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Lexi and Carly, thank you for the subs too. Thank you so much. Um. No, wrong, wrong, bad. And then we can like take it up this way into a little pond over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, Elaine, thank you. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Tell Catherine I said thanks. Um, Lexi, Kylie, thank you for the subs again too, though. <sighs> Kayla, can we trust you with a pond? Okay, well, realistically, I do not have the best track record when it comes to ponds in games. So maybe not. <laughs> Look, there's no- there's no piranhas in Animal Crossing. You don't need to worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, okay? <laughs> There are? Okay, well there are, yes, but they're not, like, murderous. Like in some games. <laughs> you can't actually catch piranhas in this game, but they're not gonna kill you. That can't be said for some games that we play around these parts. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Sell some stuff quickly. I don't want these red mums. Oops. Sell. Wissa, I, I wouldn't pick between Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing are two very different games. People ask me this kind of thing a lot. They'll be like, if you had to pick between, but like, there, uh, and I'll, they'll also be like, which one's better? I don't think that there's an answer to that. Like, I really think that these games are very different. Um, they're all, like, simulation type games, but the, the gameplay is- People compare Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing especially all the time, and I don't know why. Like, they're both, I guess, like, cozy games that is the word people use to describe them, but they really have nothing in common gameplay-wise. Like, at all. <laughs> Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley could not be further from each other as far as, like, what you actually do in them, you know? Um, and they also, they, like, totally different art styles and stuff, too. Like, I really don't see, like, any similarities between Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, aside from the fact they're both, like, deemed cozy games. In that way. You can fish in both? You can fish in The Sims as well! Stardew Valley and The Sims are nothing alike, either. <laughs> You can also fish in Minecraft. These are all like, I don't know, they're all really different. Um, but, I don't know. They're all, they, I think that they appeal to similar audiences, but I don't think that the games themselves really have that much in common. Wait. Right now. 
right now. <laughs> Go make it big. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> City White Siren, thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Aquana, thank you for the eight months. Oh. Bailey, thank you for the seven months too. All right, so we can't time travel much because Bangle has asked to leave. <laughs> I can hear him screaming. Oh, Maggie, hi, thank you for the rain, by the way. It's good to see you. Oh my goodness. Maggie, Bangle just asked to leave Dan's Island. It's a big moment. It's a really big moment for us. <laughs> okay. I'm also currently trying to figure out a little layout for Dan's stuff. No, no! Ah! That was a mistake. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. <laughs> Um, everyone from my stream, by the way, if you don't follow my friend Maggie, you know Equippy in the chat, um, but, uh, she is a streamer as well, and she's a very dear friend of mine, so please go check out her channel. Thank you for the raid, how was your stream? Also, Clowns Alley, thank you for the subs, both of you, too. Um, <laughs> Maggie puts a caster for herself in the chat, I respect it. I do. Okay, I need to dig this up. Rebuilding the pancakes house. Oh, they deserve it. <laughs> if anybody needs an update to their home, it's probably the pancakes. I'm not a, their house is weird. I hate how it's like kind of symmetrical, but not. It really bothers me. <laughs> um, something about the pancakes. I, oh. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I don't like it very much. Well, I'm glad you're fixing it. Okay. I'm just making a little, um, thingy here, because it's going to lead into a little pond. Come on. Come on. Okay, that'll be fine for now. Did I already make a tiny version of the Pancake House Jumbo? At least it's on my list if I haven't done it yet. I may have already done it, but I also may not have, I'm not sure. Nope, don't want that. I want to be able to pretend that this is like a windier little river than it actually is. <laughs> so, <laughs> just give me a minute so I can work on winding my river, my <laughs> winding my river around. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Wait. Maybe it needs to be like. Wait. How do you do it? I don't want it to be wide. Ew. Oh, maybe that's good actually. No, it's bad. I don't like it. What do I do? No, it's fine. I don't want it to be wide, I want it to be tiny. No, that's fine. That's fine. I like it. I'm gonna put, um... Oh, I could put a bush here. It looks like a dinosaur. It does look like a dinosaur. See, it's good. It's my little dinosaur river. Okay. 
I want to put a tree there. Do I have any cherries? No. Let's go find some. I don't want to take the ones from the front. Get these. <sighs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> Dan, thank you for the five months. Um, Alani, thank you for the bits again. No, oh my goodness, I said that already, didn't I? Carissa, Shelly, Marmar, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Some fencing would be good too. I kind of want to put some fence in front of this. Yeah, I'm I'm on the same page as you. Like how chaotic Dan's Island is. Well, cause he's not decorated it at all. <laughs> Literally zero decorations ever. <laughs> this is the first time there has been any decorating on this island. Okay, that's too close. That's fine. I wanted it to be. No place to plant things in this area. Excuse me. Oh, cause it's cause it's next to the water. What am I thinking? Duh. I wish you could put them on the edge, but that's that's the problem. Is not the it's it's the water. <laughs> I knew that. Don't know why I just wasn't paying attention. You have one decorated corner of your island. Look, I respect that though. That's all you need, is one corner. That counts as decorated. It's fine. Okay. Plant this. Dig up this. I'm gonna need to break that rock too to put the pond over here. To be fair, it's a really nice corner. I love it. I bet it is. I've got a bunch of random- I've- I've finished, like, the majority of my green-themed island now. But there are a bunch of random little pieces that aren't done. Still. And I feel very overwhelmed when I think about how much I have to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ugh. Nope. Too much stuff, not enough space. Yeah, there's like a bunch of random like strips of empty space that I'm like, should I just put trees there? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah, Samantha, those shirts were limited edition. They were only available in the month of May. Um, they were only available and like on the, the website in the month of May, and that money all in May went straight to St. Jude from those shirts. Um, but like this, uh, Designed by Humans worked with a bunch of streamers to make St. Jude shirts in May, and they were all only available in May. That was like the whole thing. Um, so they're not around anymore. Okay. Nope. Trees are nice to fill space. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I need to put a flower here. Hopefully it'll grow. Ew! Scary bugs. Don't like. I don't know if I like this or not. And I've made it impossible to get through. Never mind, I don't want it there anymore. I want it to be walkable. We need to th we need to think about this logically, right? Because again, Dan is not an Animal Crossing player. He's not like us. He's not willing to waddle through scary forests that are impossible to get around. <laughs> you and I, we are we care more about decoration than function. <laughs> Dan's not like us. <laughs> so we need to be careful about what we're doing here. Um, okay. This 
This is gonna be pretty. I, uh, I'm unsure about it. I'll figure it out. Waddle? Yeah, waddle. Like a duck. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay. Decorate a dream address for him? Well, Eli, I can, I mean, upload a dream address. Once, once the island is done, we can get Dan a dream address. Right now, he doesn't even have Nintendo Online, though, because it expired, so... <laughs> uh, eventually, we can get a dream address for you so that you can come visit Dan's island. That's just not really in the cards for us right now. Um... I have to break it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, it was the money one. Why? I don't need money. Dan has seven million bells. It's fine. <laughs> I need to calm down. We have plenty of bells. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, seven million. He used to... Pretty much the only thing he did on this island was buy turnips and villager hunt. He didn't really care about, like, decorating his island, but he very much enjoyed the turnip game. So... Pocket change? Yeah, pocket change. Seven million bells. That's not even that much. A lot of people that like actually play Animal Crossing a lot have like hundreds of millions of bells. Um, and keep in mind, he doesn't really play. So he had all those bells, but he never spent them on anything. <laughs> you know, so like. <laughs> this Able Sisters isn't there anymore. I already moved it. So, don't worry about getting too close to Able Sisters. It's gonna be gone. I think I like that. And we can put some trees around it. I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good. Island designer. <laughs> There we go. I'm getting him so many points. Oh, thanks, Binksy. I appreciate that. That's really kind of you to say. Um, okay, can I stick a tree like... I have a tree. Let me get another one. I want to put the duck-shaped pond by the campsite, I think, is my plan. Um, so we'll do that eventually. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. Can we get ducks in the pond? No, not really. Unfortunately, not very easily in this particular game. <laughs> um, Evie, I'm playing on Dan's Switch. Um, this is Dan's Animal Crossing Island. I'm helping him decorate it. This is not my Switch, nor is it my island. <laughs> um, but I'm helping Dan decorate his. So, we do have- we could craft ourselves some decoy ducks, that is true. And put those around the place a little bit. Okay, that'll be cute for now. Can I put another tree closer to the- I wonder how close we can get it. No. If that's too close, then I don't really want one. That'll be too close, too. Oh, it's not! <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's good. And then I want to put a tree up there. Hang on. I know I said I didn't want to use these cherries, but they'll grow back. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Jojo, I don't 
know if I'm gonna do a villager hunt or if Dan is gonna do a villager hunt. Dan might want a villager hunt, and it is his island, so we'll see, um, I'll let you know when Dan's gonna do it, obviously, if he does it. And if I do it, then I'll tell you when we're gonna do it, but <laughs> I don't know if Dan's gonna want a hunt to replace Bangalore or if he'll want me to do it, so we'll have to see, um, we'll have to see. Do it together? <laughs> I could just restream it? Maybe. Um, okay. But yeah, villager hunting is something that Dan actually likes to do, so he might want to do it himself. I don't know. Here is a cherry tree. <laughs> uh, Goddess, you know, he's doing a lot better. My parents watered my plants downstairs, but did not water my plant Jeffrey that used to be right there. Um, he was a bit not good. Um, he sorta, <laughs> uh, but I put him out on the patio so he would have more light. Um, and I've been watering him a lot. I cut off all his dead leaves. He's really perked up. He's doing a lot better. He's, he's not fully bounced back, but he's doing a lot better. Like there, a couple new leaves have sprouted up. I've, it's good signs. The signs are looking good for Jeffrey, but I'm gonna be honest, he's ugly. And I've got an appearance to uphold. So I got a new plant. <laughs> That's a real plant too. Its name is Malcolm. Um, but yeah, Jeffrey is still alive. He's just, I moved him downstairs so we could have more light. This room gets a lot of light, but like the patio gets more. So I thought it'd be better if he was like out there. Um, I thought that uh, if we could give him the best chance we could, <laughs> it would probably be for the best. So I, I put him outside. Um, He's in the ICU, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Landgrab and now Malcolm Landgrab is their names, yeah. Um, yes, I named my plants after those sims. Does Dan still have Raymond? Well, Dan never had Raymond. So no. Dan's brother has Raymond on his island. <laughs> Dan didn't have Raymond though. Um... Where's Nancy? I don't have a- I don't have a plant called Nancy. All my plants downstairs don't have names. I just named the ones that are in- or the one that was in here. Um, my plants downstairs don't have names. Okay. This is actually looking a lot better. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we actually have an entryway for him now. Let's figure this out. Um, sad nameless plants. They're not sad. My plants are doing very well. <laughs> Eloise, um, Evie, Nai, D, Maureen, thank you for the subs. Meg, um, thank you all so much, everyone. I heard a balloon, but I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I did hear the balloon. I don't want to, okay, my, I need to close my blinds. Hang on. Well, my curtains. Oh. There's a new car pulling in next door. I wonder who it is. I've never seen them before. I think my neighbors are moving out soon. So I wonder if like, Maybe it's time. <laughs> I don't think it's a new neighbor. The uh, old ones are still there, but. Okay, the loud neighbors, yes. <laughs> it's probably just a friend coming over, but every time I see something happening there, I'm like, what if they're moving? <laughs> I'm like counting down the seconds until they move. So whenever I'm like, oh, a new car, is it a new person? Are they being replaced? <laughs> That's why I noticed it, because I, I keep getting excited and hoping they're moving. Um, I don't think they are yet, though. Okay. Just happy thoughts. Oh, no, I think they'll be going soon. I hope so. They moved here, they moved here in August of last year. 
So if they didn't renew their lease, there's a chance. I thought they were gonna move out last week because um, there was a carpet cleaner here, like a carpet cleaning company. No, it's not a family, it's college students, Zozo. Not loud because they have, they don't have pets. <laughs> They're not a family, they're loud because they have parties. <laughs> and they have lots of people over all the time and they block me in my driveway and it's, um, unpleasant. <laughs> but anyway, I thought they might be leaving because there was a carpet cleaner here. But, um, so far they have not left yet. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish they had loud pets. I, <laughs> I'd take a neighbor with a loud dog over neighbors with loud parties any day. <laughs> no, I don't care if they hear me say I hate them. I don't, people always are like, wow, I hope they don't hear you say that on stream. These people have like lots of people over constantly the past year during this pandemic. They wake me up at like 4 a.m. all the time and they keep parking in my driveway and blocking me in. I don't really... <laughs> like, I assume they probably know I don't like them. Like, I don't know. Um, they're not pleasant. <laughs> okay. Um... I want to make sure we get... This is going to be the front... I want to have a path that's... I hate how it's a slightly different color than the path that they give us. It's so annoying. <laughs> Do I want this right up against the pond? I think I do. You can hear Dan in the background, Caitlin. I can hear him talking a little bit. I can't hear what he's saying though. Yeah, I wish the paths went up to the edge of the plaza too. It's really annoying that they don't. Oh my God, I'm trying to... You might be able to hear it with like, good headphones. I don't know. I can hear it <laughs> a little bit, but Dan is in the room next to mine, so I'm not surprised by that, but. Okay, this Able Sisters is moving. I already moved it. It just obviously is the same day, so it's not moved moved yet, but it will be gone. So I can put my path down here for now. Can't on your laptop, but can on your desktop. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um. <laughs> He's gonna have all ducks, Karen. That's the plan. He wants to have a duck-themed island. <laughs> so he will eventually have just ducks. That is his goal. Yeah, the little bear umbrella that Joey has is really cute, isn't it? Okay, Joey, I need you to walk away. I can just start putting some things down here. You can't hear it? No, it's really quiet. He's just talking. It's very, very quiet. Don't don't feel like your um, hearing is bad or your speakers are bad because you can't hear Dan. It's really quiet. I promise. <laughs> um, you shouldn't be able to hear him. You just might be able to. Um, okay. This will be nice. And like I said, we want it to be, um... Oh, they're talking, that's so cute. <laughs> we want it to be really simple, really subtle. Um, we don't wanna... I don't wanna like extreme decorate this. I just wanna make him have a more functional, ever so slightly better island. Cause currently he has no layout. We wanna give him a layout. How long am I gonna stream? Um, Scrumpy, I usually stream for like three hours. Full transparency, I am not feeling good. 
I have had really bad cramps all day and a really bad headache. It's making me nauseous. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of having fun right now. So, <laughs> if I get off, I'm just going to go lay in bed and be miserable. I might as well sit here and play Animal Crossing if I'm going <laughs> to. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, Sanders, thank you for the tier 2 18 one. But I'm okay. I'm okay. It kind of comes in waves, you know? So, at the- at this very moment, I feel fine. <laughs> at this exact second, I'm good. Um, but we'll see how that changes. <laughs> okay. See, that looks nice. It's pretty, like, cutesy and... It's nice and clean. I think Dan will like this, right? That's a nice entrance. And I wanna, instead of this gnome, I'm gonna put um, those decoy ducks. I don't know if Dan has the recipe for the decoy duck, though. Is that our miscellaneous? Oh, he does. Oh, so we can craft some decoy ducks. Okay, so we can do that. That'll be really good. I'm very into that plan. And then when you walk this way, I think I might put a pathway. Oh. It's really annoying to me that the bridge is not even with this. I'm gonna be honest. That is- that is really upsetting. If I destroy the bridge, will it be destroyed today? Or do I have to wait until tomorrow for it to be destroyed? Uh, Empty Soul, I'm eating the cherries because I'm digging up the tree. If you eat a cherry, you can dig up the tree. Wait until tomorrow. It's okay. I can- we can time travel to tomorrow. Um, let's talk infrastructure. About bridges and inclines. Demolish something. Because I want to move it. I have to spend so much money! Well, maybe I can build a different bridge. Um, maybe I can build a different bridge somewhere else today, so we'll have it tomorrow. No, I clicked the wrong button! Oh my god! Can I have a kill Sanders Phoenix for anything you want for this though? It's so annoying! No, I clicked the wrong thing again! Ah! Whatever, I'm gonna want the brick bridge, right? Do we want to use the brick bridge? Is that the one that matches? I like these. I haven't used these. I think it'll be cute if we use these. Do we want to use this? It's fine. We're, we're buying- we're gonna- well, we aren't paying for it yet. I might as well just grab one so I can place it. So this is okay. And then we can destroy one. Oh. And we'll build that bridge somewhere else. <laughs> no, I clicked the wrong- ah! The number of times I clicked the wrong thing, I... This is unbearable. Okay, about- we need to be very careful with our selections. Oh, I can't destroy it now. Oh my god. I'm gonna give it back. I'm giving it back. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, demolish something. Oh. Suspension bridge. Are you okay? No. 10,000 bells. Demolish. Okay. 
We did it. Penguin Tana, thank you for the subs. It's okay. It's done. We did it. We did the right thing. It's okay. <laughs> Where is it? Thank you for the five months. So that'll be gone tomorrow. Um, and then in the meantime... I guess we could work on, um... Oops. We can work on filling out, like, where it's gonna need to be and adjusting the river to fit it properly. You know? That'll be nice. How's the museum? I'm not actually sure. I haven't checked on Dan's museum, really. Dan hasn't played much. Like I said, Dan literally came on here to get turnips and villager hunt. Like, he didn't really catch fish or bugs. Like, Dan didn't really play much. So... <laughs> um, the, he's not gotten very far, to say the least. Yeah, this will be fine when we're done. It'll be okay. Zeph for the 31 months? Oh my god. Aaron, thank you for the 36 months! Marissa, thank you for the 5 months. Thanks, everybody. Um. Okay. I think we're gonna need to, um... Destroy that. And then I think we're gonna need to... Make this a little bit wider. No, I might make it even wider a little bit further up. I don't know. I might adjust that in the future. <laughs> we can always mess with the river more, like, once the bridge is built, you know? Let's wait until this one is gone and we can build the new one here. And then we can figure it out. For now, priorities... Very much just laying out some pathways. Am I right? Okay, so I'm thinking you'll be able to come each way. You'll go across the bridge that'll be even. And then I think I might make the, um, I don't know. Should I put the neighborhood over here? There's already a couple houses over here. So what if we had like, I don't know. I was thinking also about making like a little forest for the campsite, which might be cute if we kind of like filled this all up with forest and put the campsite in here. Um, and then maybe the neighborhood could be on the right side. Maybe there could be forest and then like orchard down here. That could be cute. And then maybe this way, there could be the neighborhood, like everybody's houses could be more so like over, let me look at the map. Everybody's houses, I'm gonna show you my display capture so you can see my tiny mouse. You see my tiny mouse? Um, so I'm thinking there could be campsite kind of in this area still like it is now. Um, oh, maybe the neighborhood would be better down here. And then we could have, like, f six of the houses down here, and then, like, four of them somewhere else. And then maybe, like, up here could be the museum and some gardens or something. Let's, let's focus more on the small. Let's just see what we can do with what we have for now. You know? You know? I've got a 1440p monitor, Samarina. That's why the mouse is so small. Um, it doesn't seem that bad when you're actually using it, but it does look very small for you. Um, Jess, Lissa, Aubrey, Kalani, Zeph, thank you all for the subs and bits again. Um, okay. Well, the stores are gonna be down here. Where, why are you thinking?
Athletic jacket. I'll take it. I know I can make the mouse bigger, Ty. I don't think it's tiny. <laughs> is what I just said. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Che. Exactly. Um, this is gonna be the other shop. I just- I haven't- they're not moved yet, but they're gonna be down here. Um, how are you doing, Che? <laughs> okay, um... Well, there's gonna be like a little square basically over here, which is kind of fun. Maybe we could put some gardens. I do have lots of flowers. And by I, I literally mean I. Like all the flowers that Dan has are flowers that I gave him. <laughs> but he's got like some, some fun ones, like the, these purple and pink mums. He's got these windflowers and stuff. He's got these, like we, I gave Dan a bunch of like fun flowers. I think he's got some colorful roses. Yeah, pink roses, pink tulips. So we can make like a fun little garden. That could be fun to like show off the nice flowers if we wanted to. Um, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe we can make like a fake basketball court or something. Not that Dan plays basketball, but just because we have space. <laughs> or there's like, um, aren't there soccer goals? Like soccer nets in this game? Maybe I can make a little court. There's basketball hoops though. Maybe I will make a soccer court, soccer court, soccer field, because then I could be like, haha, soccer, and then he, he would get angry and be like, football. You know? <laughs> oh, I can give Dan some of my blue roses. May, I might have already given Dan some of my blue roses. I have to check. I might have put some- yeah, he has one. I already gave Dan one blue rose. So... <laughs> he does have some. We're gonna put a duck-shaped pond surfer. I'm gonna put it, I think, maybe by the campsite. Well, we could always have the duck-shaped pond, like, more central, but I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, we can get the soccer goals, so we can do that. It'll be cute. I like it. You spy a flea? One of the villagers has fleas? Oh my god, he does have fleas. Hang on. Big problem. Drake's infested. <laughs> I caught a flea! You're welcome, Bessie. You didn't deserve that. <laughs> Let me go put it in the museum. Gross. Gross. Yeah, we do have some yellow tulips. Like I said, Ava, I gave Dan, like, so much of my, um, extra flowers. <laughs> I know, Lenny, pretty much everybody calls it football. The U.S. calls it soccer, but to me, football is a completely different game. So, if I say football to people, they're gonna think I'm talking about American football. That's a completely different sport. Um, so we call it soccer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, granted, American football doesn't really make sense to be called football, but that's not my fault or my problem. So, <laughs> um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Don't need a couple things. Um, Sarah, I gave Dan a bunch of my stuff, not to be nice to him, but because I wanted to get rid of it. So, you know, when I tell you I gave Dan a lot of things, don't think of it as like a, oh my god, that's so nice of you. It's more like I have all these flowers that I don't want, but I feel bad throwing them away because they're like nice flowers. So, I'll just drop off at Dan's Island. <laughs> you know? I didn't mean to do that. 
But like, what am I? I haven't like I have I didn't give him many yet, but I have like eight extra blue roses. I don't want to just get rid of them because they're all these nice blue roses. But I don't want them. I'm gonna keep that so I can give that to a villager. Um, but like, I don't want the blue roses. I'm going to buy some wrapping paper so I can give a gift to my friend. But you have all these like nice hybrid flowers that you don't need and I, like, I could give them to friends or I could just dump them at Dan's Island and not have to worry about it. <laughs> That's always an option too. <gasps> Pink! Thank you. Kaylee, thank you for the bits! Oh no, I'm so sorry. That is so stressful. I, I understand the paranoia about fleas. That is nasty. They said that uh, when they bought their house, the previous owners left it like flea infested. So when they moved in, there was all these fleas. That's so stressful. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to wrap this. Who gets it? Who gets the, the gift? You do, because you had fleas. <laughs> Drake gets the gift because he had fleas. Sorry, buddy. You didn't deserve it. Bones, thank you for the nine months! Skull tea? Ooh! I don't like it. That is like the opposite vibes. <laughs> I feel like you cannot get further away from what, <laughs> from what I'm currently wearing than that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, Zoe, I'm sorry. I hope that it works out fast. That is so stressful. I'm gonna put a tree there, I think. I'm gonna put trees in the corners here. I like the idea of it. I've got a bunch of- that- that lasted me a long time. Well, I'm gonna put trees in all these corners. I need to buy another shovel though, because I'm out. I don't have any. Oh, Ray, did I get your nanny job? The child pooped his pants and tried to blame it on the dog. <laughs> oh, Kids are so funny. I- <laughs> Yeah, the dog pooped in your pants. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly, that's definitely what happened. I- I believe it. <laughs> that's cute though. <laughs> I'm just gonna come by myself. Um, I don't need to, but I'm gonna buy a bunch of oranges. This is actually my native fruit on this island. Um, I simply replaced all of the fruit trees with cherries. Um, I kind of want to go back to oranges though, which I will probably regret. But, I don't know, I'm feeling the Florida vibes. So, I'm, I think I might plant orange trees around the... area. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going to. Dan's a Floridian now. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Welcome, welcome to Florida, am I right? <laughs> Okay, let's just plant ourselves some little orange trees, shall we? Okay. Jess, thank you for the nine month resub. All right, there's a couple more. I'll have to do the corners too. Well, do I even wanna do the corners? I'm not sure, I'll figure it out. Is he flow grown? You know, Elena, even I wouldn't consider myself flow grown. <laughs> I guess I did grow up here, but I wasn't born here. My parents and I make fun of my sister for that. Um, because people, if you don't know the, the context, a lot of people in Florida have these stickers on the back of their cars and it's like the shape of Florida, right? And it says flow grown. Sometimes shape of Florida, but the panhandle is a gun. Flow grown. 
we always mock them, right? And we always laugh because everyone in my family was, was born in Illinois, except for my sister, who was born here. <laughs> Um, well, my mom was born in Iowa, but she moved there when she moved to Illinois when she was like one. Um, but still so wasn't born in Florida. But my dad, my brother, and I all born in Chicago. So we are not flow grown. My sister, born and raised, can't get more flow grown than that, you know? So <laughs> we always make fun of her <laughs> and compare her to them. But she's not like them. We are unfortunately. Um, believe it or not, not like those people. <laughs> we don't actually have gun bumper stickers. Um, I know, shocking. Uh, you all, you all thought that I would, but, but no. <laughs> Why flow grown, not full grown? You're, you're reading the flow wrong. Flow, F-L-O, like Florida. Flow. Not flow like F-L-O-W, flow. Flow like Florida. Yeah, confusing, don't worry. Um, but flow like Florida. <laughs> Kristen Alexis, thank you for the subs. Anyway, um, I'm not like these people. <laughs> Leah, thank you for the four months. Okay, um, I'm, I'm feeling pleased with how it's turning out around here. I feel like I can't really do my flower gardens until these things are moved out of the way though. So maybe I should time travel to tomorrow. Oh yeah, Professor Bell, the thing is like, I think Central Florida, like Orlando is a pretty good bubble as well. But like, in between, this happens in a lot of places, but in between cities, um, you find a lot of f flow grown guns, Trump signs, you know. <laughs> um, you venture out a little bit and it's um, different. Different. You know, kind of scary. <laughs> It is what it is. That's just America for you. So, uh, Leah, thank you for the four month reset too. Did I say that already? And Jess, thank you for the four months. Um, but I think that everybody has that where you live. You probably have a similar um, experience. So, um. <laughs> you see, chemical. I I moved to Florida when I was five. I I was born in Chicago, but I've, I've been in Florida for a while. I, I'm, I'm proper from Florida now. <laughs> I may have been born in Illinois, but I, I've been here for a long time. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Florida, let's be real, unfortunately. <laughs> My dad's whole family, my mom's whole family too. My dad's whole family is in Chicago. My mom's whole family is from like Southern Illinois. So my whole family, like my extended family is in Illinois still, but I'm from Florida. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow we wish Bangle a farewell. Okay. Do you know what I'm excited about? Oh, do you know what we should do on my birthday? is um because i was gonna do a short stream in the morning on my birthday we can play animal crossing we'll check in on both my islands and do my birthday party that'll be fun okay so but on friday we're like properly celebrating my birthday on friday with the um the charity stream on friday but my actual birthday is on saturday and we're gonna do like a little shorter stream on saturday and so we can um That'll be a good idea. Maybe I want to have yellow and orange flowers on this island. Maybe I'll do a mix of yellow and orange. That'll be a good idea. But anyway, birthday on Saturday, but on Friday is the charity stream. Um, we're raising money for Able Gamers on Friday. That's the plan. Drinking stream? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't really drink. Guys, I, 
you that was a very special occasion the drinking stream because I did that because I promised I would if we raised two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for St. Jude and we raised three hundred and twenty thousand dollars for St. Jude hence the drinking stream but again that was a very special occasion um you're not gonna get more of those from me really <laughs> In, le in case of maybe another extremely special occasion, I don't know, but... <laughs> uh, that's not gonna be a very frequent occurrence, I'll tell you that much. Um, okay, I wanna get back in the island designer for a second. Riley, thank you for the prime sub, mate! Thank you for 11 months! Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I, I think every state has their little gun stickers. You have Oregonian stickers in Oregon, apparently. Um, do, what do people? What do they look like? See, Florida is is nice for them, not for us. But Florida is nice for them in the fact that you can sort of turn the shape of Florida into the shape of a gun. So that works out well for the gun people. Um, the rest of us find it bizarre, but for them, I'm sure it's real nice. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Um, happy birthday, Bella. I can sing you a song. Hannah, thank you for the four months too. Uh, oh, sorry for yawning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to, let's talk infrastructure. I wanna move the shop. I want layout changes. We can build a bridge today too, which will be nice. Anyway, it happens all over. <laughs> Unfortunately, it happens all over. Oh, do you know what? I can't really show you very easily because I can't pick it up without having to move all my monitors and stuff. Maybe, let me move my keyboard and I'll take a picture. I got a package in the mail from St. Jude yesterday and today I got two. Um, but they sent me a giant mouse pad and I'm using it. Let me show you. I'll send a picture of it to Dan. They also sent me, this is perhaps the most incredible thing. Um, I don't have it in here because I gave it to Dan, but they gave me a, the Logitech and Herman Miller chair, which is very expensive and very nice. And that came today, but they also sent me like a backpack and like a water bottle and a bunch of St. Jude like merch type stuff from Play Live. Um, I'm using the mouse pad, but they sent me a, the Logitech and Herman Miller chair. So Dan is, it's now Dan's chair. <laughs> um, look, this is the, oh, of course it's sideways. This is the mouse pad. Um, it's really cute. I like the little like stars and the sides. I don't know. Oh, you can see cat hair on it. Of course you can. <laughs> it doesn't look as bad in person. It looks dirty in the picture. Now I'm embarrassed. I only put it down yesterday. Um, but. Anyway, this is my new mouse pad. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you the chair. Dan is sitting in it, so it's probably not the best um, time to show you. But <laughs> um, you can't even see it. Look, you can see like a little bit of it right there. Just, <laughs> just the littlest corner of the chair. Anyway, it, it's a nice chair. Um, why is Dan using the chair? Well, I have a Herman Miller chair, um, and I like my chair, <laughs> so Dan, Dan can have that one. I also, I have another St. Jude chair from last year they sent me as well, um, but we're gonna give that one to Brett, um, cause Brett has like an old desk chair, and this is like basically a, it's only, I've only had it for a year, it's like basically a brand new, um, gaming chair that Brett can have, so. <laughs> I am, I am very, um, I have a lot of chairs. <laughs> I have a lot of desk chairs. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab the bridge while I'm here too. Let's talk infrastructure, please. I vouch bridges and inclines. Let's build a bridge. But yeah, because of Play Live, they send like a bunch of um, stuff to a lot of people that raise a lot of money in Play Live. Like basically, like people like Logitech will donate a bunch of chairs 
for St. Jude to give out to people who raise a lot of money for St. Jude. Does that make sense? Um, so I am very fortunate to have gotten this Logitech Herman Miller chair um, from them as a gift, which is pretty cool. But that, like, it's, it's basically like donations from these companies um, to St. Jude for the fundraising and stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, but did I bring enough for the class? Why enough chairs? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this bridge. Let me imagine it actually, I wanna see what it looks like. <gasps> oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Okay. You know, we've made some small progress with Dan's Island, which is good. It's not, um, I can't move it yet. I need to move the house first. <laughs> I need to move the house first. Oh, little Cherisy, thank you for the price of. No, but thank you for the tier two 24 month resub. Thank you so much. M Fiora, Ariel, thank you for the sub, for the bits, I mean, thank you so much. Oh, how do you get the floor paths? Um, you have to unlock terraforming first, Kat. So you're gonna need to um, work on your island a little bit until um, KK Slider comes. And then you'll be able to do it. Oh, I forgot I didn't have any mascara on. I just tried to pull off mascara. I'm sorry for telling you this because it's kind of gross, I guess. But I just tried to pull it off and then I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> oh, I'm not wearing any. <laughs> Oops. But Kaylee, thank you for the fits. Okay, I need to figure out whose house I need to move instead. Let me check. Um, no, today's not Bangle's moving out day. Bangle's gonna be moving out tomorrow. So Bangle should be in boxes today. Um, okay, that's Bill's house. We need to move Bill's house. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Kaylee, thank you for the bits. Let's try again. Oh my god. Well, maybe we can figure out where we want to put um, the neighbors now. Bill. Succubus, thank you for the two months. It probably is bad for your uh, lashes, um, Shuffle. I, I can't see how it would be good for them to pull on them. Um, doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing it. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's sick. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. I'll bring you some medicine. Don't worry, I got you. Zombie, thank you for the three months, too. Oh, did I change streaming hours? No. The same time as usual, Taylor. Um, I usually am live from 4 to 7 p.m. I am gonna start streaming on mornings instead and Wednesdays, though. <laughs> well, we never moved the shop, Mei Mei. We never moved the shop. Um, the way it works is, uh, when you ask to move something, he gives you a plot. So I have the plot now for Bill's new house. Um, but Bill's house is still there. Like, Bill's house isn't destroyed and it won't be destroyed until, like, Bill's house is still right here. And it won't be gone until tomorrow when the new one is built. Um, so Bill's, Bill's still there. <laughs> He's not gone yet. Can't get rid of him that easily, unfortunately. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be streaming at 9 a.m. Um, we're trying out morning streams on Wednesdays. I did one at 8 a.m. last week. <laughs> we're gonna be live at 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. I know, it's weird, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna be live at um, 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. It's currently 6 p.m. Eastern time, if that helps you. You like 9 a.m. better? Yeah, I, I think I, I'm not sure. Um, if I go live at 9am, I'll have more time before I go live to, oh, she has fleas too, to actually, I don't know, do something, but, um, we'll see. 9am in the UK is 2pm. 9am for me is 2pm in the UK. She's got fleas. It's an infestation. 
Sorry, Flo. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry, little Flo. You didn't deserve this. Okay, I don't know where I want to put everybody's houses. I am really unsure. To be honest, I might just put Bill over here for now. I'll just move him again. I don't care. It's fine. I'll just move him again. I'm, I have to figure out the layout of everybody's new houses first. I just checked it and it said 1 p.m. GMT. Well, you're not on GMT right now. It's British summertime right now. <laughs> um, 9 a.m. for me right now is 2 p.m. for you. <laughs> Um, I know because I have a British fiance who now lives here and has for a uh, one week, <laughs> but one week ago he lived in the UK. So I am, um, very familiar with your time zone. <laughs> I know these things. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab these things. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's confusing. Don't worry, Sarah. It's confusing that it's like that. Um, especially if you Google it and it says GMT or you look up GMT and you forget that it's on BST. It happens. Don't worry. That's cute, right? I have a selection of flowers. <laughs> Um, oh wait, should we put these in the garden that I'm gonna make? I'm gonna stick them over here for now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just know spring forward, fall backward, yeah. Um, I don't know which is standard either. Yeah, no, I, that's why like in my announcements channel, my discord, I just put ET and cause I don't know, I don't know if we're on Eastern standard time or Eastern daylight time right now. It'll probably tell me if I, what time is it in Florida? Eastern daylight time. It's not standard time. Oh, I guess I should have known that cause GMT is standard time. But I don't know, like, daylight savings is summertime. See, I always forget that. But it's EDT right now. And then in the fall, it'll change back to standard time. <laughs> yeah, I always just say Eastern. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why, again, in my announcement channel, I just put e ET, Eastern time. <laughs> um, but yeah, the D means daylight. So. Ah, uh, yes, the D is for summer. <laughs> Exactly. Um, all right. Just omit the middle. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Um, okay. Um, no, what, what am I doing here? I meant to get money out of the bank. Come on. <laughs> Valerie, thank you for the 10 months. Well, that's the thing, Felix. The, the, middle letter changing does not affect your day-to-day -day life at all. Um, it just matters, like, if you live in a place that doesn't change their clocks, <laughs> um, that's when it gets confusing because, like, for part of the year, there might be a bigger time difference between Florida and you. Um, but only if you don't change your clocks. But if, you, if like, most, most states in the U.S. change their clocks, so, like, the daylight versus standard time doesn't really make a difference because it's the same for you. Like, it's always the same time difference between here and Chicago. Like, it's never different, so. Um, but some states do, and that's worse. <laughs> yeah, and, like, for example, the U.S. and the U.K., um, they change them at different times. The, U the U.S. and all of Europe change at different times. So, like, for a while, um, it's, like, two weeks uh, where Dan and I's time difference is not five hours. Again, he's moved here now, as of last week. 
but um, like so the US might change first and theirs hasn't changed yet. So we have like a six hour time difference instead of five for like two weeks or a four hour time, four hour time difference instead of five for a couple weeks and then it changes and it, that's where it gets confusing is when people have like different times than normal. But for the most part, it's like not a problem and you don't need to worry about it. Um, I'm gonna give you all the money you need. Donate. Have fun. Okay. Yeah, he moved here, um, not last Friday, but the Friday before. So he's been here for just over a week now, about a week and a half since Dan moved. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? <laughs> uh, but he's finally here, which is kind of cool. He's right there it's through that wall. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> that's a green smoothie. Oh my God. My other island is gonna love this. Okay, I need that. <laughs> my other island, I've got all green villagers. Um, is that a scale? Okay, I don't need, I don't need one of those. That's <laughs> unhealthy. <laughs> I didn't even know they had those in Animal Crossing. <laughs> don't need to be looking at one of those. <laughs> 40 Valerie <laughs> Axis, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, now I need to check on the clothes because I want to buy myself some clothes. Shy, um, how am I able to have two islands? Plus the one I'm playing on. <laughs> These are my switches. I always had this one that I bought an Animal Crossing Switch when it came out. So I have two islands because I have two switches. And right now I'm playing on Dan's Switch. This is Dan's island. Uh, I'm decorating it for the first time today. He never decorated his, like he like hunted for villagers and played a little bit, but he never actually decorated his island. So I am decorating Dan's island. This isn't my switch, it's his, but I'm playing on his right now and helping him decorate. So that's why. <laughs> I have three switches in this room right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I know. I want this. I'm gonna buy Dan some cute outfits. I like that. Flip flops, that's a good one. With the sandals too, or with the socks I mean. Hey Fauna, hope you're doing good too. It's good to see you. Um, yeah, the Animal Crossing Switch, the only difference is that it looks different. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the Animal Crossing Switch has like, some stuff on it and it has different joy cons like these animal crossing joy cons but the um that's the only difference it's like a special edition they have a bunch of them for different games not just animal crossing um they have like some special they have like a fortnite switch <laughs> even um but that's the only difference but it's kind of cool it's cute i think this is gonna be really nice when i'm done i'm just not done yet <laughs> Yeah, the dock is really cute too. I'm playing with the dock, so I can't show you really easily. Wait. Dan, can I have your dock I can't show you. I'm using mine and he's 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 playing on his. Did you say bestie we can't hear you? I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to him. I was trying to get his his um dock so I could show you cuz he has an Animal Crossing Switch too. Um but he's he's playing Dead by Daylight right now and he can't really very easily unplug it. So <laughs> Sorry. No, he doesn't have, he always had an Animal Crossing Switch, Shan. He had a, he has a yellow Switch light and an Animal Crossing Switch. I'm on his Animal Crossing Switch right now. That's why he has the Animal Crossing Switch dock. I can show you. Look. Oh. See? I'm playing on an Animal Crossing Switch as we speak. Okay. <laughs> Give it a second. It'll come back. I just took it out. Um, 
but he, he, I am, he also has an Animal Crossing Switch. <laughs> um, okay, this is where the shop is gonna go, like I said. I just can't put it yet. And then... Oh, there's so many flowers. It's causing me stress. Um, what else can I do today? I mean, we put that there. As far as other things, there's not really much that we can do with the main stuff until I figure out where I want to put all my houses, but... Sorry, where I want to put all of Dan's houses. <laughs> oh my god, Fawn, do you know what? I went to Target the other day with Dan, and they had like four Animal Crossing Switches in stock at the Target near my house. And I like, um, I thought that the Animal Crossing Switches were like pretty much out of stock, like everywhere. They didn't have any regular Switches, but they had like four Animal Crossing Switches. Isn't that so weird? They didn't have any consoles. They had no Xboxes, no Playstations, four Animal Crossing Switches. <laughs> um. They're restocking them? Yeah, I heard that. Um, but there's, like, no s consoles anywhere. Um, but they had four Animal Crossing switches. <laughs> so. Uh, that's kind of fun. Anyway, I know you said that you've been trying to, like, not buy one. <laughs> and now I'm like, well, they're restocking them. <laughs> um, but I, I'm excited. I'm glad that they're back in stock because they're really cute. I think this is, like, objectively the cutest Switch they ever made. I wish they would make more with pastel Joy-Cons like this. Like, the default Joy-Cons, um, that most of the Switches have are really bright. Like, think the, like, bright red and blue one and stuff. And that's fun, but I, like, I don't know. I think we've learned our lesson. Oh, look, that's my little Cincy light. Um, I think we learned our lesson. People like the cutesy stuff. If they made, like, pastel pink Joy-Cons or something, like, like a pastel pink and yellow set or something like that. Wouldn't that be so cute? I think there's a very big market for like little cutesy Joy-Cons and they should tap into it. <laughs> um, do they make like a bright pink and bright green set? But like, give me the pastels. We want the pastels, Nintendo, please. And you can get like custom ones and stuff, but I want them to make official sets. This is important to me. Ooh. Well, they don't make custom ones. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't make custom ones, but people do make custom Joy-Cons. Um, I have a custom controller, but... Um... I'm trying to make it smaller. My pro controller is from a place called Colorware. Um, oh, that's still not right. Ah, that's still wrong too. Well, it's not custom. I didn't custom. Okay, custom's the wrong word. I didn't like customize this. This is just one that Colorware makes that I bought. It's not like custom to me, <laughs> but it's not like the default pro controller which looks like this. This is the one that Dan was playing with when we played Mario Kart. But like, this is the one that, that Nintendo makes and this is that one, but like painted basically. Um, painted's the wrong word too. Anyway, this is not, it's custom as in it's not the default one, but it's not like custom to me. I didn't like pick out, I want gray with purple buttons, you know, like <laughs> it just came like this, but I thought it was cute. So I bought it. Um, yeah. Okay. This is gonna be nice. Well, it is the Nintendo controller, Professor Bells. It's not like a colorware controller. It's the Nintendo controller, but painted. So it it's like a real, it's a real official pro controller, but painted. That's why it's kind of expensive. Um, Cause it's like actually Nintendo. It's not like an, um, a third party controller. Colorware makes a bunch of things like that. Colorware make like, you can buy, like, MacBooks and, like, AirPods and stuff from them that are, like, painted. 
um, if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, because <laughs> it's really expensive for something that you can just get a case for. Like, especially like AirPods. Why do you need to get like reskinned AirPods? I don't know. Just get an AirPods case. Like, I feel like the case on this on this would be really bulky and weird, and like the fake ones are sometimes they don't work as well and they don't like vibrate and stuff. But with AirPods. Or like a MacBook. I don't know about spending extra money on those, but they make all kinds of things at Colorware, which is kind of fun to look at them. Um, and you can get custom, custom. Like you could pick out the colors you want specifically. You could be like, I want pink and green, you know, um, or whatever. <laughs> so, okay, I think. Oh, what's that? Fishing rod. Okay, that's useful. The thing is, I don't want to time travel again. What I really need to do is time travel. But I can't, because Bangle asked to leave. Oh, let's take care of all this stuff. Cardboard box, cardboard box, cardboard box, <laughs> cardboard box, cardboard box, cardboard box, cardboard box. Cardboard box. We got one thing, retro stereo. Um, no, Wolf, no, no, no. He didn't do any of this. <laughs> I did this. Dan literally had not placed a single path until I started playing on his Switch today. Um, he didn't do any of this. Uh, the only thing he did was place his villagers' houses in random spots, but he didn't even really do that. Dan didn't do anything. I, I didn't like break his island. I, I merely started it. Dan had zero decorations placed anywhere. And he had a bunch of random flowers, but I placed those too. <laughs> Cause this island was like a dumping ground for me. <laughs> Cause I would want to sell my, like I would want to get rid of like special flowers and not want to sell them. So I just bring them here. Um, anyway, he's not done much. <laughs> uh, and neither have I, I only started helping him do it today, but. Eventually, there'll be more to it. Okay, I'm gonna sell all this stuff. Even the clothes. He's not gonna... He won't use them. This is basically my island now. <laughs> He's the... He doesn't play Animal Crossing. <laughs> he did a bunch. He streamed it a bunch um, a while ago. He did a bunch of villager hunting and stuff, but... He doesn't play Animal Crossing. No, Mimi, I'll probably only play it on stream, to be honest. It'll be more fun that way. Unless I'm feeling extra inspired, but I, I probably only play it on stream. All right, I need to go finish getting the dirty stuff. And then I need to check, oh, I need to check what the Nook Stop has too. Sarah, hey, thank you for the tier two, nine months. It's good to see you, hi. I sold the mixer, I know. I don't need it. As long as it's cataloged, it's fine. I can give it for myself back. I don't need it, it's not a big deal. I sold it on purpose. Don't worry. Um. La Witch, thank you for the 19 months, Matt at the Sun, Blaze, Millions of Peaches, uh, Jordan, thank you all for the subs too, Leah and Katie, Katie Girl with the 39 months, oh my god. Thank you all so much. No, I didn't give Bill any medicine yet. <laughs> um, okay, I should buy this iron fence recipe. I should keep the moldy dress for a special occasion. Um, oh yeah, Hope made homemade pizza. Wait. Well, I need to go to the store soon to buy cat food anyway, so I may as well go to the store now and buy things to make pizza. Right? Do you want to make pizza? Did they kill themselves on hook or did they actually die? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention enough, I guess. I don't need cat food urgently, but like, it's an excuse to go to the store. Do you wanna make pizza tonight? We wanna make pizza? Do we have the stuff for that? I say, I, I mean, I'm down. No, we don't. <laughs> or do you just mean like- No, we don't have the stuff for that. <laughs> we have to go to the store though, okay. Yes! I'm down for that. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, that works out well for me. I wanna buy a spiky fence. 
I also have cake at my house because yesterday I baked a vegan cake for my birthday. I made a video on it, I'm posting it on Saturday. Um, but yesterday I baked cake, so I have a delicious chocolate cake um, and now I can make pizza. So look who's winning! Me! <laughs> um, anyway, I, my cake turned out really well. You don't understand, it turned out really good. It's a chocolate cake with raspberry filling and chocolate ganache. So, I'm just saying. Drop the recipe. Well, I used like three different recipes. I can show you them right now. Um, Cause we're sitting here. I'm gonna, when I post the video, I'll put the link. Um, but let me show you. So basically I made this cake a few years ago, um, not vegan. <laughs> and then I wanted to make it again. Um, so this is the cake, the not vegan one, but I used this raspberry filling recipe from this part. Cause it's just like sugar and raspberries basically. So like whatever. So I used that part. And then this is the chocolate ganache that I made. Um, it's just coconut cream and, and chocolate chips. And then this is the cake and frosting that I made. So, there's three recipes. <laughs> um, it's not a <laughs> simple recipe drop, unfortunately, but here's the three. <laughs> um, if you want them. But I'll, like I said, I'll put them in the video description and stuff so you can grab them. Um, maybe I'll post them in my... Here, I'll post them in my Discord. There's a cooking channel in my Discord. Maybe I'll post them right now. Um... Okay, cake recipes. One, two, three. Okay, whatever, I'll edit that. That should be better later, but if you want them, they're in the Discord. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that helps. It's easier to come back and find another time if you want them. I don't post much in that cooking channel, to be honest, so you could just like search my messages or in the Discord in that channel and then you'll be able to find them. <laughs> um, okay. Now what? I'm gonna put this flour right here. Yeah, we are gonna do a baking stream. I need to, oy, I need to figure out when because this week is not good. <laughs> I think we'll do the baking stream once Dan and I have submitted all of his adjustments of st adjustment of status paperwork. I this is a very busy time. <laughs> so once we get like everything shipped off to the government and filed again, then we can work on that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We could bake bread on stream, but like the rising that I, that's part of what I was worried about. I was like cuz the baking stream Anything we do, we're gonna have to wait so long for it to cool. Bread, too long. The waiting for it to rise is not a good idea. I was thinking maybe we could do cookies or like a banana bread type thing where like you can, yeah, that kind of thing's an idea. But if we did cookies, like we could possibly do, but then you have to refrigerate the dough for a while, but we could just not and see what happens. I don't know, but we could do like sugar cookies and then decorate them. That kind of thing could be fun. Or we could just do like a drop cookie kind of thing if we don't want to decorate them. But, um, either way, we could do, we could do two kinds of cookies. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's, that's an idea actually. Cause while one of them's like in the refrigerator before we can like roll it out and stuff, we could make another one. I have cookie cutters, but I only have Christmas cookie cutters. <laughs> so that's, we, we can get some new ones. That could be fun. Um, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I only have Christmas. We could do Christmas in like September. The only cookie cutter you have is the state of Ohio. Okay. <laughs> My mom has a lot of cookie cutters. My grandma keeps giving my mom cookie cutters. So my mom has a lot. We could probably just dig through my mom's and use some of hers instead of buying some. 
Or we could get some like goofy ones. We could buy some new ones that are goofy. Oh, actually I do. I have three cat cookie cutters because Dan got them for me for Christmas last year. So I do have cat cookie cutters, but they're like very specific. If we got some generic ones, like just like some flowers, we could decorate them all fun. The cats are harder to decorate. I don't know how to like, I'm not gonna be like piping cat icing onto the, you know, like <laughs> we need some more generic shapes. <laughs> but there's like, it's like cats laying down and stuff, you know, so it's like very specific. They're gonna look bad. What I need is like just a, a cat face with ears, like a really simple one. I can't, I can't be doing like realistic cats. It needs to be a really simple cat head or something. <laughs> like, I need a circle with two triangles, exactly. That's, <laughs> Ashmore's baby bat, thank you for the subs. <laughs> okay, I don't want these flowers. I'm gonna dig them up and throw them away. Dinosaur cookies could be fun. Yeah, I could make my own template to cut it out with a knife, but it's easier to buy a cookie cutter. You know what I need? Mickey Mouse? Oh my god. Do you know what I could get? I could get like, <laughs> like a palm tree cookie cutter and a Mickey Mouse cookie cutter and like a state of Florida cookie cutter. And we can- and then- Hear me out. A circle. It's an orange. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Welcome to America, Duck Dan. Here's your Florida cookie. Flow grown. Stop. <laughs> Are there plum bob cookie cutters? Well, there's definitely diamond cookie cutters, and you could just put green icing on them. Do you need a cookie cutter for a circle though? Yes? You think I can freehand a perfect circle? I guess you could just use a cup. So that, is that what you mean? <laughs> Cause I have cups we could use instead. <laughs> Never mind. I get what you mean. I was like, you think I can freehand a circle? No, that's what cups are for, Kayla. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, false alarm. We have cups. <laughs> I do in fact have glasses, but we could get like varying sizes of circle cookie cutters. I'm sure my mom has some circle cookie cutters. Like I said, my mom has a, she never buys any. My grandma just keeps giving them to her, like bags of them. Cause my grandma like gets given them from friends and is like, I have too many here, you take them. So there's just like a chain of cookie cutters being given to people. So many cookie cutters. <laughs> um, which I'm not complaining about, it's kind of fun, but... <laughs> no, she doesn't- she never uses them, Ferret. My mom- my mom does not use any of them. My mom bakes cookies a lot, but she's very much a drop cookie kind of person. Like, she is not rolling out cookies and cutting them. That is way too much work. She's scooping with a spoon onto the pan. Like, <laughs> my mom never uses these cookie cutters. And that's why I know about them, because she keeps trying to push them on me, because she doesn't ever, <laughs> she has no need for them either. And my grandma's like, I don't need these, you have them. And then, but now we have all these cookie cutters and. <laughs> <laughs> um, dinosaur cookie cutters, I love that puck. I love that. A work outfit. Okay, I'm in one right now. <gasps> Sorry for yawning. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Where where did my shirt go? Explorer shirt? Oh, I look good here. An entire spoon collection from your mom, even though you don't collect spoons. Is she mad because I have the island design thing on? My grandma, she didn't collect spoons. 
But she had like... She had some little spoons. On her kitchen wall. In like a glass case. I don't think they were fancy spoons. But she did have a couple- she had like five or six little- they were like little bitty spoons in a little glass case on the kitchen wall. I don't know where she got them from. My grandparents had all kinds of weird things in their house. But- <laughs> Oh, and my other grandma has plates. She's got in her living room, there's like a, a, sh a plate shelf that's got like plates up on display like leaning against the wall. So- <laughs> Um, I think we all- <laughs> I think all our grandmas have plates. <laughs> She's got one that has like a little cat face on it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You had a great aunt whose kitchen was just strawberry themed everything? No, I like that. I'm with the strawberry theme. My- my parents had- I don't think it was their choice. But like, because my dad is a captain, like a boat captain, um, people give them a lot of like fish themed gifts. Um, like, I don't know, oven mitts with fish on them. And like, a fancy bowl with fish on them. And oh, a fish shaped cutting board. Like, people give that. And then once they see that you have like, oh, they have a fish bowl. They love fish. <laughs> So they like someone else gives you a fish gift and now you've got fish shaped salt and pepper shakers and, like, it just keeps, like, and they don't even like fish that much, but they have all this fish stuff because people keep giving it to them as presents More so when they first got married because like that's when people give you a lot of house stuff, but now they still have it obviously so <laughs> My parents have all these fish things in their house <laughs> I feel like that always happens to you. My mom said her boss, same thing. Her boss's son gave him like a Star Wars poster or something, like framed. Cause he like kind of likes Star Wars. He's not like a massive Star Wars fan, but he kind of likes Star Wars. So he gave him like a little Star Wars print or something. And well, he put it up in his office and then everybody in the office was like, oh, Dave loves Star Wars. So now they always get him like Star Wars themed gifts for like his birthday or like for, <laughs> they're like, oh, I saw this Star Wars thing, Dave, here you go. And now he has all this Star Wars stuff in his office. And he, he likes Star Wars, but he doesn't like love Star Wars. But now it's just full of it, full of it. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happens, but it always happens. You, you get like put into a corner of a thing and that's your thing. I think Dan's- Dan's family gave him a lot of Harry Potter things when he was a kid. That's why he has like, some wands and stuff like- Cause people are like, oh Dan likes wands. Now he has four, <laughs> you know? To be fair, Dan was like obsessed when he was a kid with Harry Potter. Dan used to watch the movies every night to fall asleep. Cause he like had trouble sleeping so he'd put a film on to fall asleep and he'd watch Harry Potter every single night. For like, years. So he knows those movies really well. He can like quote them. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, but again, thank you for the prime sub. Live with life, thank you for the bits. I am so glad you're in the new apartment. I'm glad you moved in. I'm glad. I, I know that is a really stressful time. Move in day is always a nightmare. So I'm glad you're all set up. Um, okay. Hmm. Elsie grew up in the UK. I didn't know that, Hope. That's kind of cool. I, as if I- I don't know much about Hope's friend, Elsie. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. <laughs> I know about zero things about Hope's friend, Elsie. I know where she's going to grad school. And Japan, too. She's a twin? I didn't know she was a twin. Here, give me more facts about Elsie, Hope. Tell us about Elsie. You know my chat? They know Elsie really well. They would love to hear more about her. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us more about your friend. <laughs> I met Elsie once. Didn't know she had a twin. Didn't know she lived in Japan or in 
the UK. I'm taking notes on Elsie, yeah. <laughs> we need to we need to memorize these things about Elsie in case we need to <sighs> I don't know. You never know we might need to bring out an Elsie fact. There might be a quiz. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> You've got a twin? That's cool. My grandpa had a twin sister. Um but yeah, my grandpa has a had a she died like a month ago <laughs> sorry weird timing <laughs> not used to saying had um anyway he he has a twin sister um my grandpa which i always thought was really cool that he had a twin okay um no I always think that that must have been so horrible. Like, <laughs> when his poor mother gave birth to twins. Could you imagine having surprise twins? Like, we are so blessed with ultrasounds in this day and age. Could you imagine having, like, one baby's bad enough? Imagine you're kind of prepared for a baby. And then all of a sudden, another one? I don't know if he was born first. I should ask who was born first. Um, but I, could you imagine? What is bad enough? Yes, I stand by that. <laughs> anyway, I think that's kind of funny. I always um, was excited that he had a twin sister. I was always, I always thought that was like a fun, um, like fun fact to mention at school. I'd be like, hey, you won't believe this. My grandpa's got a twin. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I thought it was cool for that. Kids are weird about that kind of thing. But I really did think I was cool for that. <laughs> did you always want twins growing up? Yeah, Hope. Sometimes when I was a kid, I always wanted to have a twin sister. And I also kind of was like, I'd love to have twin kids when I have kids. But I think now, realistically, I'm like, that seems like a lot. At least you could get away with being pregnant once. But I, two babies, one baby is enough. Oh dear. Okay, I need to upgrade, pay off Dan's house loan. Um, don't twin skip a generation? Isn't that just like, lore. <laughs> That's just a thing people say. That doesn't make any sense. Like, I spent- <laughs> Shouldn't my mom have had twins then? <laughs> That's not a thing. Um, I, I imagine that it's possible that like some families maybe are more likely to have twins than others. Like, but I don't know. My mom sighed. My it's just her dad that was a twin. I'm fine. Um, okay. I need to pay off my loan. Loan balance zero bells. Wait. Did Dan pay off his loan but not upgrade his house? I want to expand. Come on. Yes! Give me the loan! Aw, oh, Penguin, I'm really glad to hear that. That's awesome news. Um, I am really, really glad to hear that. I know the feeling, the uh, separated long distance feeling, and I, I'm glad it's gonna be over for you. <laughs> Zira, Hifbinger, Danielle, Set, Katz, Thompson, thank you all for the subs too. Um, I'm not gonna have twins. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna have a baby for so long. Drop it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna have twins. <sighs> um. Well, the rain's kind of stopping now. We're getting kind of close to the end of the stream here, too. 
Ooh, there was a bug. Well, look. We haven't made much progress, but all things considered. I'm not wrapping up yet. I meant to keep playing. All things considered, this this is pretty good. Can you get a tour? Yeah. So you um, leave from the airport, and over here we're gonna have the two shops. Uh, we have the Able Sisters already. I am in the process of moving this house so I can put the other shop here. I I'm thinking practicality, right? Because Dan's not like the most avid of Animal Crossing players. So like, you know, we could do something like make the whole island a forest and hard to navigate, or <laughs> we can make it very simply laid out, easy access. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, so we're gonna put the shops like right next to the front here. Um, and then eventually we're gonna have like a little garden in this area. Obviously the town hall is over here. I'm gonna put, um, let me show you the map. I don't know where I want his house to be yet, but I do know that over in this, the campsite's gonna be over here. Still, I wanna make like a little forest in this little nook. We're gonna put the campsite in there. I might have like some waterfalls going through it. Um, forest for the campsite. I think I'm gonna have the neighborhoods like um, up here, kind of over here. I don't know. Orchard over here. Maybe Dan can live up here. This can be the museum. I We got a lot to think about. It's far away, but at least we've begun. You know, so today we did this. I, I made some stuff. I'm starting a new bridge. Um, he had a bridge right here, but it was off center, so I destroyed it. Um, I'm gonna, I don't think I'll terraform a lot. Hope, I think I'm gonna leave like pretty much the layout that it is, but maybe like, I don't know, not have a third story over here in the top corner so that I can have houses up there. You know, like I might do something like that, but um, I'm not gonna like adjust anything drastically. Like I think I'll leave the river the way it is and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> He needs a duck flag. Yeah, he doesn't have Nintendo online. It expired. We need to pay for it again. So I don't, I, I just didn't want to do it while I was live. So I can't get online and um, get a custom design. But um, I certainly can't make one. <laughs> oh, that's new. Um, but we'll, we'll give him a duck flag for sure. I want to make a duck shaped pond too. I very much like the idea of that. <laughs> Yeah, the last time Dan played was Halloween. Dan did a big villager hunt on Halloween. And that was the last time that he played Animal Crossing. It's August. So... <laughs> but yeah, when I started decorating today, he had literally done nothing. Nothing. Um, he absolutely had not decorated anything. Not a single path had been placed. He had houses in random spots. That is all he had done. So we are making significant progress, okay? Started from the bottom, literally. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, tomorrow we're gonna play with the Potts family um, in The Sims. So that's the plan. Um, tomorrow is... Oh no, oh no, 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 sorry. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We're gonna be building tomorrow. On Thursday is the Potts family. And then on Friday is our charity stream for Able Gamers. We're gonna play the Sims on Friday for like six, almost seven hours probably, from four to like 10 or 11 o'clock. But on Friday, um, one, my birthday is on Saturday, so we're celebrating my birthday. But two, Twitch is matching donations on Friday. So that they're matching donations up to $35,000. So that means if we raise $35,000 on Friday, Twitch will match it and double that to make $70,000 for Able Gamers. So that is the plan for Friday. We're gonna have some front page time too. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a big stream. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, we have a lot to look forward to this week. It's kind of a big, exciting week. So um, that's the plan. <laughs> Aster and Bruggles, Gus, Kohler, Avery, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a Leo. <laughs> my birthday is on Saturday. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on my actual birthday yet, but I'm gonna stream in the morning, I think, and then hang out with my parents um, in the afternoon. So, um, that is my plan. 
I don't know. Again, I haven't really... <laughs> I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> um, but, anyway. Anyway, I'm trying to think, like... Just heard a weird noise. Anyway, um... Oh, it's the bug! No wonder, I was like, what is that? It's the bug. Disregard, disregard. Um, when will I play Animal Crossing again? <laughs> on Saturday. I'm gonna stream in the morning on Saturday on my birthday, and I'm probably gonna play, this is not my island, this is Dan's island, but I might play on, play through my birthday on Saturday. On my island. So. Anyway, excited for my pizza tonight? Me too! Okay, I need to leave so I can go to Publix. <laughs> I have to go now, um, because I'm gonna make pizza today, so I need to go to the store. Um, let's actually go see who all is live, because I want to raid somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. No, I know you didn't, Chloe, don't worry. It's just that people come in literally all day. <laughs> This is- people have been correcting me about the label I use on my relationship for like a year. <laughs> um, so like, the individual doesn't mean any harm, but I think it gets annoying for everybody to like, see people correcting me constantly. You know? Cause it's been happening for like a year, <laughs> you know? It's different now, but like, especially up until recently, like, I didn't have this ring up until very recently. So when people were like, mm, don't you mean fiance? I'd be like, no, I don't. <laughs> We applied for the visa, but I said boyfriend for a reason. Leave me alone. Anyway, people, it's it's weird to have people, like, nitpicking the labels that you're using. But the individual doesn't mean any harm. It's just that when it happens, like, a hundred times, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> you know? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Um, I want to go and raid... Da -da -da, I don't know. Somebody. Um, maybe we could raid... I've not raided Miv in a while. I guess I haven't streamed much. Because <laughs> I streamed last week, but I, I missed like two weeks of stream, so that's why. Let's raid Miv. Miv's playing Animal Crossing, so this'll be fun. Um, I don't know what Miv's doing in Animal Crossing, but it's something. And it's probably fun, so <laughs> let's go over and say hi, shall we? Um, been engaged for six months, still call him boyfriend. Well, it slips up! I, I put the word boyfriend in my title on purpose today because I didn't want to deal with people being like, when did, fiance, when did you get engaged? Because that seemed like, I don't know, more spammy. <laughs> I, I, it was a strategic decision, I don't know. Um, anyway, we're gonna read Miv. Miv's a friend of mine. If you will like her streams very much, I promise. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow in the morning. Um, I'm trying out streaming in the morning on, um, Wednesdays. So... That is the plan. Um, <laughs> that is the plan. Um, we're gonna be live at, at 9 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So rise and shine. I'll see. It's not that early. It's fine. It is really on the West Coast, but it's not that bad here. 9 a.m. is fine for me. <laughs> um, but I'll see you then. Okay. Anyway, I love you. I miss you. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>